Do you guys switch seats on us? He's closer oh. to the alcohol now, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> that was the real driving factor. So, uh, Chris and I had an interesting experience this weekend. I set up a Zoom meeting with uh, Uncle Eddie, uh, his wife Andrea. Wait, uh, Uncle Eddie from Puerto Rico? Uncle Eddie from Puerto Rico. Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh, his daughter, <laughs> We've heard about Andrea Uncle Bell, Eddie. Uh, my aunt. Uh, Karen, who we who goes by the internet of Wolf Soul six six six, and her husband, who she met on the internet Wolf Fang, six six six, and uh, my aunt Elva. And uh, Chris, how would you describe our one and a half hour uh, video conference call last weekend? Technically flawless. Uh, we had no issues, which because <laughs> we do. Uh, it was hilarious. I wouldn't uh, watch Netflix, The Tiger King, anything else. It was quite entertaining. Uncle Eddie, Especially when you're texting Uncle Eddie back and forth with went brother. went to the bathroom during the video call. Tried to be sneaky. Oh, yeah. Chris is texting mm, me. No. Is Uncle Eddie in the bathroom right now? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think he is. It was something. It was something. <laughs> it was hilarious. Hey, I can that's exactly what I was thinking, Chris. Every, uh, all our, our Puerto Rican cousins all wanted to do. My uncle brought, uh, he's like now handicapped. He had a stroke and he's here. And he, he brings out his police uniform. Vest. It's a vest. <laughs> well, no, I, I was getting to that. Oh, yeah. Sorry, sorry, he, sorry. Please continue. I'm sorry. He calls it his police uniform. He's like, I got it. Let me get it. All of a sudden, everybody's talking. And all of a sudden, you see this. It's a it's a vest. it's a crossing guard vest. The, the, the police. It's a vest. Did I mention that? And uh, he's mentioning how he's uh, part of part of the east in the neighborhood watch, but the guy can hardly walk because he's had a stroke. So <laughs> not, not sure really. So um, we're trying to we're trying to encourage the conversation. We're like, well, Eddie, are you? <clears throat> what comes with that? Do you get do you get handcuffs? You, you, are you packing heat? Do they issue you a weapon? Uh, oh, no, I don't get none. No, no weapon. No oh, gun. that's crazy. I don't understand why, Uncle Eddie. Why don't... I, I, really loud. Hey, you, stop it. <laughs> what about a stick? Did they give you, like, a, a whistle? Baton? Something? No. No, no. I can't whistle. My, half my mouth that doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Eddie, you're still, you're, still, you're still in the bathroom right now, Uncle Eddie. You, you know that, right? Oh, you see nothing. Oh, oh, yeah, okay. Now, now all of a sudden he sees me. turned. He, he's not Mexican. See nothing. <laughs> gonna, if I was doing the accent, he would have been Scottish. <laughs> <laughs> all roads lead to Edinburgh. All accents lead to Edinburgh. In a toilet. Wait, that's Irish. I'm only getting like every other word out of Chris. Is it? As yeah, Chris's yeah. connection is terrible. You can't plug your computer in, can you, Chris? Like, get it a wired connection? Oh, no, we talked about this. It's way over in Nate's room, isn't it? Never mind. It's your birthday. All right, I'm finishing the last cake scrap, and then we'll start. Sounds good. I have to go to the bathroom. I'll throw that out. How are you guys holding up during the quarantine? <laughs> I was down in New York today. I'm back down in New York tomorrow. All right, real quick while we're uh, still chatting, I'm going to run the dog out real quick. Okay. Sure. sure. I was in the fan I was in the dining room, uh, and then I was here. <laughs> How was that? I spent a little time on the back porch today too. Oh, you did. Ooh. Yeah, it literally in blank wrapped in blankets. <laughs> porch of Ayarta. It was a change of scenery. <laughs> Everybody had to read. Oh, uh, Josh, I was looking through old uh, Google Docs, and I found a fitness test for P90X. And uh, yeah. I think I might start it up again this week. I mean, it's a good time. to You're stuck in the house with nothing to do. Might as well do P90X. I have wished I could. I still don't have full clearance for my uh, bicep tendon. Oh. I, did, I did a first workout with the boys today. We're I've... in the front yard, some push-ups. Some running type stuff, a bunch of jumping. Um, I learned about six lunges in just how 
I'm ashamed I am, or how, uh, how much I have not done lunges in a long time. That's all it takes. <laughs> Andrea had um, had something. She's doing a workout. She's so good about this stuff. She's disciplined. And I hear bumping going on on the second floor during lunch. And I'm like, hey, what are you doing? She's like, oh, I'll text it to you. So there's somebody who puts out a, a workout. And it's like uh, 25 jumping jacks. And then it's uh, 25 squats, 10 push-ups. And then it's like a minute of uh, plank and a minute of wall sitting. And there's something else. Oh, burpees, maybe like 15 burpees or something. And then, there's nothing wrong with burpees. <laughs> there's everything wrong with burpees. There's so, nothing right with burpees. This. But burpees it's a card. It's like a little card. And then you repeat this four times. And that's that's your workout. And I was like, I'll do this with you next time. So we did it. Uh, and I was aching after that. Like all that <laughs> stuff was nothing back in the days of P90X. But agree with you, Jeff. Uh, you forget, and then you get out of shape, and then it hurts. <laughs> Soft and squishy. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely a, a tough two to three week relaunch uh, to get back into it. Yes, I'm three. I'm May fourth. I go back to the doctor. May the fourth be with me. Ooh. That's what I'm hoping to get the clearance to start whatever I need to start. Good luck. I hope you get a clean bill of health. That'd be awesome, man. I'm really surprised the uh, doctor doesn't let you do anything, any like kind of like leg workout. That's weird. Oh, I, I could go do. I could do legs. Oh, but, you could. Oh, okay. That's you've heard of sarcasm <laughs> before. Okay. <laughs> hey, all of Nala's rolls are at minus two. Oh. <laughs> Happy birthday! This guy's the uh, the mirror guys here. The mirror. Yeah, it's a um, it's like a, a full body. It's a computer, and you can do live. Yeah, yeah. On. I've, seen those. I've seen that. Yeah. So she's got that. She's doing that. How was that? Is it good? I haven't done. It looked awesome, like third up and stuff. But um, yeah, it looked pretty cool. Yeah, the Peloton looks pretty cool too. You see, the, the bike itself is eighteen hundred bucks. Mm. Yeah, no kidding. All right, Mikey's back. Jules is washing her hands. We are going to be starting before 7.30. Mark the date. Josh's birthday. He's starting early for me. Thanks, guys. Happy birthday, big guy. Happy birthday, Josh. Happy birthday, Bo. <laughs> so the, 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 uh, I'll wait for Jules quick. So I listened to the podcast this morning, and the uh, one of the players goes, I, I attacked the blue dot. I'm like, did I steal the colored dots from them, or did I think of them? Hmm. Or, or hot, anyway, <laughs> doesn't matter. Oh, Henry's back. He wants to stay with the boys and Jules. I, uh, I went back to uh, Androids and Aliens and caught up on the first chapter, which was their exploration of the Acreon and the Drift Rock. And uh, it's really interesting hearing uh, a different perspective. Uh, it was pretty cool. Yes. I would recommend it. They're not, uh, I think only two of them are actors. And the rest are just people who like to role play. All right, well, to my birthday. Cheers. Happy birthday. Cheers. All right. So when we last left off. Uh, I'm going to take notes. But they're actually helpful. If you want to take notes, it won't hurt. Oh, by the way, the theme for tonight is action and pulp. So keep that in mind. My goal was to string the whole thing together as one. I'm not going to say one encounter. But one particularly long event a day. So remember that when you're acting. Adventure. <laughs> venture, venture. Adventure. 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 So at some point we should act tired? <laughs> no, but just remember that you're, we're stringing things together. I was saying, because Jeff's got that down. <laughs> just wait at... till uh, 9 30. No. 70. You can't go to bed that early. So. I will not be taking off. All right, so when we left off, you guys had fought the uh, the Ven Venesia, giant vine beast by the obelisk. Did you, you had um, defeated it, and in your exploration behind it, you found um, a couple more dead cultists. You found two exploration buggies. And upon further examination, you find one cultist still clinging to life. Uh, oh. she, is, she is... Um, Begging for help. Help me. So we kill her. The devourer won't take me. Please help me. Ghost, enter misery, ghost. 
You said it, Trigger. I shoot her in the head. No, 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 no! Oh, boy. Too late. Too late. <laughs> you want to roll oh. uh, dexterity checks against each other. You might be able to get an action in before I pull the trigger. Wait, you're never going to beat your win a roll against a... Uh... No. <laughs> <laughs> you're never roll against too. an operative, so just don't bother. Uh, I'll trade you information. See, that's why we shouldn't kill her. Trigger? Should I pull the trigger? <laughs> no, 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 no. Was that a pun? Let, let, let's see what information she has. Then we can decide if we want to kill her. Okay, Trigger. What race is she? She is, she is a um, Karasha Lashanta. Uh, uh, can I do like a medicine check? Like how... How bad is she? Is she savable or not? Um, I'm gonna say yeah, either a medicine or a life science check. You guys can perform on her. Okay. I can do that. I can do that too. I can do one of those. All right, everybody's getting their stuff. Uh, Tools. What are you on life science? Yeah. Nineteen for medicine. Ten. I think I have medicine too. All right. What'd you get, Mikey? Twenty-two. Twenty-two. On medicine. 25 on medicine. Ooh. I rolled a natural 20, guys. Is there a doctor in the house? Nice. Ooh, nice. I rolled a natural 1 on life science and a natural 20 on medicine. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, between the three of you, she, you recognize she has no um, physical injuries. It wasn't like the, the, the plant monster hurt her. Um, she has um, sores and um, she's diseased. She has a disease. It's not communicable. You can tell it's from uh, with uh, Ilyse's experience, uh, knowledge of the area uh, of of uh, um, Castrovel. It's uh, a, an infestation from a, a plant. It would take a. Um, it's not the serum of health. What's the other one you have? Not the flesh spray. There's a third one. Oh, the antitoxin. Yes, it would. It would take a oh, dose of antitoxin to save her. This place is like Australia. Like just <laughs> turn around and, and things kill you. <laughs> All right, let's see what we can get out of her because I don't want to waste antitoxin on her. We only have the what? two antitoxin trigger. Would it be one. easier for her if we if we just use it uh, telepathically communicated with her instead of trying to talk? Mm. Mm, I don't think it would really matter. That's a nice but idea. She, That's good flavor. She, she is kind of. Um, she, she. I. I. I will get, tell you all that I know, but I. I, you have to help me first. How oh, can we help you? Certainly, give you like Mark One serum, Mark One healing serum would, would alleviate much of her pain, but she's still got the disease that will eventually kill her. Do we just have any more like straight up morphine type stuff that we could give her? No. I have a medical kit. I don't know if there would be painkillers in the med kit, but uh, but Ghost wouldn't give them anyways. He just <laughs> no, he wouldn't. <laughs> I can always, I can always use a uh, Mystic Cure on if if you'd like. But a what now? A Mystic Cure? Yeah. You've been you've been holding back on us. I could. Use it. What other powers you got? You got like Mystic Awesomeness. Mystic, uh, that's uh, the credit generator level. Yes. I think he is Mystic Awesomeness. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Freak mystically awesome. What what is what do you have for spells, Chris, that could help help her? Mystic uh stores one D eight plus my wisdom to any liver. Uh the only cure I took. Yep. What what was it? Was it cure wounds? Uh it just says mystic bird. Here's mystic thing. Restores oh, one point. Uh That's uh one, one, one D plus my wisdom modifier to uh, hit points. That would help stabilize her, but it would not cure her. She probably, she'll probably be dead in less than a day if you don't apply the antitoxin. But you would stabilize her enough that she could talk and feel vaguely Lashanta. Oh, I I think to uh, Sivion, um just do a healing on her and tell her that you are. Uh, detoxing her through magic. Just make it look pretty. <laughs> Ex excellent. Uh, so I get the uh, the person to say, hey, I'm going to take away like 
like some of your pain and, and heal your poison, uh, just let it end on your mind. Please. Let's see. Hold on. Now I gotta. How does this healing thing work? It's... <laughs> <laughs> I know. Because I just gotta. I tabs open. I find my roll 20. There. And. Oh, that's like. Eight hey, plus my wisdom. Okay. Sorry. Uh. Let's see, my smart. My wisdom buyer. Uh, All right, add four. Whoa. Oof. Maximum healing. 12. Max healing. So perfect. Later on, he will spend a healing on one of you and get one. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Almost definitely, yes. We have wasted it. We've wasted it on a character that was doomed to die. Well done. Hey, it's okay. You're welcome. Uh, we'll find out if we wasted it right now. We'll, we'll see. My, my, my name is Rokawi. Perfect. It's its own money, right, people? I... I she, she, look, she looks kind of almost disgusted with herself as she starts to tell her story. I, I only recently joined the, the Cult of the Devourer. I've made so many bad decisions in my life. Personal, financial. I had nothing left. And then and then Tahoman, the leader of this this this, this sect of the, the, the cult, found me and, 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 and gave me purpose. And now he left me here. But but that's not what you don't care about that so much. He Don't don't tell us what we care about and what we don't care about. <laughs> We're sorry for your experience. Thank, thank, thank you. And and so we, we we came here. He he promised that that we were gonna we were in search of a, of a super weapon that would help the cult to spread to to, to, to bring the devourer closer to everybody, and that this was the first step in, in 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 retrieving the artifacts necessary to activate it. And and he didn't know how to get there. So he pretended to be um, what's a, a Pasquale, and, and, and he 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 got friendly with uh, Doctor Solastarni, and then at the and we, we we he arranged to meet her in public, kidnapped her, and we brought her here, and we've been traveling through the woods ever since. In fact, he was the one who was responsible for that that uh, Yurik, um, tra- uh, um. Uh, I lost the word. Encounter. The 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 the, uh, the yeah ambush. the stampede. Ambush. The stampede. stampede. He he's left somebody behind to shoot it to shoot at them and, and cause that to happen in case anybody was following. And now he's he, he's left me here, that bastard. Oh, I've made so many poor choices. I wish I could repent and 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 and, and do better. You have made a great many terrible choices in your life. Let's so have you, police. Mister. Mr. Dying Person, Miss Dying Person, have you ever worked for free at a tiger sanctuary? Ghost, 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 ghost. Hold on, hold on. I, I am a, I am a clerical healer, and I can forgive you for all your sins if you have, let's say, a couple hundred credits. <laughs> <laughs> I like the way you think, Tirigar. Um, I, I have, I have nothing. Tahoman took everything before he left me here. Duh. How long ago did he leave you here? Oh. I don't know. I've been in and out of consciousness. Maybe a day, two days, day and a half. I don't know. You can, you can actually see there's a, a giant um, thorn stuck in her leg, which is the source of the poison that, that's causing her uh, her issue. That Perfect. thorn, is it um, environmental? Is it like, is there a thorn bush nearby? Or does it look like it's like sticking out like, I don't know, like it came from an, a, a creature or something? Um, give me a culture check to see if anybody knows what this is from. Mm-hmm. If you're the son, if you're from Castrovalia, yeah, plus two. Now, in Castrovalia, we have all these dangerous things. But usually, uh, 
there might be something nearby that counteracts that poison. So there's a chance if we roll unbelievably. <laughs> uh, 15. 26. Oh. So Nala uh, takes a, 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 a good look at it and realizes that this is actually uh, a thorn from a Kasarik, which is a, a creature that has um, vine-like tentacles that have thorns on them. And that it is a... Uh, like it, the thing that we just fought? Different, but the same. Um, it actually injects a carrion spore that festers in, in the in the body and will eventually kill the host, creating more of the creature that... Um, the seedlings of the, of the creature. Oh, so we want to get away. Well, you can still heal her. Oh. Mm, Please save me. I'll help you. I'll do anything to, to get revenge on Tahoman. Leaving me here. I want to be. I want to do better. Well, I want then, to stop. What is a personal comms channel that Tahoman uses? He has probably talked to you in the past. What channel do you use for personal comms? There is, there is no personal comms. There's no satellite here. Uh, you know that as well as I do. Before you came to the jungle, you were using personal comms. What channels were you using to communicate with him in the network of the devourers? We used whatever. I, I don't... Go right, sleep. Is there, aside He's from best. saving your life and wasting antitoxin, is there anything useful you can provide to us in terms of information? I, I know, I know where he's headed, and clearly you can see where the where the buggies went. But he's looking for the, the the temple of the twelve up in the mountains. Yes, yes, we we figured we would follow the tracks. Uh, that is not useful to us. Do you have any new information that you can give us? Did did she tell us how big his group is? You you knew this group came through at about uh, twenty five or so, and you've seen and killed at least half a dozen so far. I'm gonna do a perception check. See if I think she's lying. That'd be more if she's, a, if she's a plant or not. That's good. <laughs> I'll be here all day, guys. All right. <laughs> Eleven. You did better than I did, Jeff. I got an eight. Wow. Oh. Do I have sense motive? <laughs> I think I do. Oh wait. Yeah, have that. I do. I got 20. 20? On the sense motive, yeah. So, so, so. Now, as a, as a player, and I roll a, an 8 or a 5 or something like that versus rolling a 20. In game, oh, I believe her, I don't believe her. I don't know what I roll. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. <laughs> It's called meta. <laughs> but also, that's like uh, when you when you sneak, or when Josh says roll a perception, and you roll a perception check, and he says, nope, you hear nothing. You see nothing. You're like, hmm, I did roll a two. Oh, well, I guess I'll keep walking. Like, I guess that's just, we just ignore it and move on, right? <laughs> well, wasn't that the original D&D &D was the, D the DM was the only one who rolled dice? And you wouldn't know, like... I stealthily go around the back, and he would roll to see if you did it or not, and wouldn't tell you necessarily if. Uh... Or he'd be the only one who knew the success or fail, right? Yeah. <laughs> both, both, both Sivian and um, Ilesi, um don't sense any 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 sense of betrayal or any dishonesty in them. Um, both both uh, Nala and Ilesi have um, sense thoughts or something as a oh, racial yeah. ability. You could use that to, set, to see if she's telling the truth or not. I rolled well. I believe her. I think she's legit. I think that we should not let her die. I think that she's helpful. She is useless. She has no information. She can't even tell us comm channels. Watch, I will ask another simple question. When you were back in the city, where did you live? And where were the locations that you used to hang with them as part of your network? We lived in a slum, in a basement, stunk like hell. Yep. On a good day, we would get to go to the Five Arches and hang out there, which is where we kidnapped Dr. Solo Starney. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You see what I mean? Totally useless. The only location you to be referenced her. is a place we've already that been. information, and she gave it to you because she's a nice person. There are no details. Nothing. All right, let, it let, is like let, playing a computer let, game and talking to an NPC. No useful listen. information. <laughs> let's, listen. Let's, 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 let's learn how to drive these things. 
Okay, guys, let my let me talk. Let, let's just kill her and move on. She's not going to give us anything useful. Hold on. Listen. You mean nothing useful? We we have kept people in the past. Think of the Vesk. He has been useful to us. Yes. yes. Yeah, but he's big, he, he's big and strong and beats the crap out of things. And 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 I like him now. So I, I also don't recall any of you having to save my life. It is true. That also is true. Also, Ozzy, let me ask you this. What was the name of your commanding officer? Uh, the one that I killed? Yes. Uh, Robert uh, Sullivan. You see, look at this. He provides information quickly with details. Much more useful than this dying person over here. That is why we keep Ozzy. We do and, not keep her. And I bet you never knew that before. No, I did not Unlike know. the five arches. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> She did. She did provide a great deal of the background. You now have confirmed Tahoman and Pasquale are the same person. Tahoman is the leader of the cult sect that's here. She's informed you that he clearly kidnapped Doctor Solistarni. Um, so she has provided. She's confirmed much of what you didn't, what you suspected or may have known a little bit. Yeah, that, that, that's yeah. Let's that, just kill her and get going. This is taking too long. I am with She's Trigger. Not, yes. How how big are the buggies? Yes, do we have room for her? We can drag buggy. her behind the we can drag her behind the buggy. It seats three. The, Each buggy. The buggy seats three. three, but there is room where you could strap somebody on who was a strap to be roof. Roof. <laughs> sort of. And you all would have known that if you were it. Strap to roof a little bit. Like someone who's like on their last leg dying, they would probably do well strapped to we the bumper. Use, we can use her, Nala. We can use her for, for cushioning. We can put her on the front bumper, and and then if we, <laughs> I mean, she's not Aunt Edna from from Christmas from your. Um... I was thinking more like the dog. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds very Mad Max. I... What Trigger is proposing, using her as a as a hood ornament. Uh, isn't that more um, uh, Firefly? <laughs> oh yeah, the Reavers. Yes. Reavers. Yep. All right. So what's the decision? Save her, leave her, kill her. I say we save her and bring her with save us. Her. I say we kill her. We have two. We have two. We are not saving her. I'm not stabbing her with one of these two antiviral things. No. Four. No, no. No. And there's six of us. Are you going to be the. Are you, you know what? How about you give her the dose that we would give to you? If, okay. Josh. Okay. So you die later. All right. All right I'll make fires sure. at point blank rage die. and shoots her in the head. <laughs> oh, thank you, Ghost. You saved me so much time arguing with her. <laughs> Go, ghost karma goes down some. <laughs> but there's a hidden karma stat in this game? <laughs> I didn't even get to say goodbye. You could, you you could, could say, say goodbye, goodbye now. It's okay. Go ahead, say goodbye. <laughs> we'll be seeing you. We check the body. Or we won't. Um, Lacey goes and cries in the corner. Okay. <laughs> Lisa's karma goes up. <laughs> uh, there, there's absolutely nothing on the body. Tom left you with nothing but the clothes on her back. Would they fit any of us? <laughs> They're shredded. <laughs> yes, Jules, you are learning. Yes. There you go. <laughs> Wait, we could sell them for 10% of what they're worth. So. <laughs> so you get a tenth of a credit. Yes. Oh, uh, Not much. <laughs> All right, Ghost. I had no idea you could be so compassionate I, uh, to put this woman out of her misery like that. I, uh, yes, yes, that is what I was doing. Yes, Ozzy. Yes. I didn't think you had it in you. It would have Perhaps been you're not as uh, morally bankrupt as I had originally thought. Ozzy, oh. I told you. I told you he's not as bad. He, I told you. Maybe you're right, Trigger. Maybe you are right. <laughs> Yes, I at see. Ozzy, he, he, he killed her because he wanted to, not because he felt bad. Well, it was either that or we leave her here to die on her own. She would have died anyway if we left her. No. I and believe she could have been an asset to us. Me too. But she is no more. Let us go. Let's, let's go anybody, while the trail is still hot. Who's, anybody who's that sick is not an asset. They're a liability. That's you, could have, you could have killed her easily enough. If there was a four-seater... 
Yes, you can come, but three seater, no. I, I I need my my space, my leg room. <laughs> Let's go. I, t I take up space for two as it is. Listen, you do not know what would happen. We would heal her. She would come with us, and then inevitably we will meet the bad guy, and she will betray us, and then we will have to kill her again, anyways. We have just skipped a few. I steps. guarantee you. I guarantee you, she's the doppelganger. So, <laughs> so I will. I will tell you if she was a doppelganger. <laughs> I will tell you since you've killed her and she's water under the bridge. Um, she she could have been an ally to you. She yeah. could have been nothing. She could have been an ally. You could have uh -huh. could have been any of the above. So she 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 had no betrayal. Come. So all right, but there are two buggies. Bad life decisions. This was just one more. It was time to put. It. <laughs> all right. We got, so. we got a whole we got a whole world full of these people. We just need to off them. <laughs> Wow, that is cold, Mike. That is cold. Wow. I mean, these oh, you guys are becoming like doctor now. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> no, no, I'm talking about this planet, not in general life. All right, you guys should see on your screen now uh, two buggies, a purple one well, with a purple dot, one with a green dot. Oh, I want the purple one. Um, I see the purple dot one. If you zoom in, it looks like it has a gun on top. It does not. It is a. It's more of a dune buggy, so there's not a lot of cover inside of it. It seats three, a driver and two passengers. Um, who is driving each and who is traveling with each? Ghost and I are in one. one. I'll drive. Uh, yeah, we, let's put Ilisi driving the purple one and Ghost and I will be in the green one. Z we should have uh, Ilisi in one and myself in another so we can communicate telepathically. Oh. That's a good idea. You are smart, I so we'll take Captain. Nama. That is a good idea. All right. So that means that I'm like, like, awesome. like, this is gonna be fun road trip, guys. I feel like we're at the playground and we're choosing teams for kickball. Yeah, right. <laughs> but who's last? Okay. I say you, you see me not speaking up just because I'm afraid of trying to get picked last. Sivian, <laughs> <laughs> Sivian uh, connects with with everybody mentally and says the same thing. <laughs> All right, so the, the driver is in the front. Um, for those who don't have it handy, there is a uh, vehicle chase actions entry under notes. Oh, fancy. Nice. Oh, nice. Whoa, and you got it to pop up for everybody. Yeah. I'm, I'm learning how to use this, this technology stuff. That's cool. You forced it to pop up for every single person logged in. That's very cool. So you can see here's the action at the very top, and then below that are the descriptions of them. All right. Mm -hmm. See that. All right. Hey, this looks like what I read. Hmm. Uh, 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 uh. Sorry. <laughs> so I have a question for you. If I if I shrink this down, does it get smaller for you guys? No. Negative. We have to nope. control the sizing after you've popped it up. No, we can close it too. Where I doesn't. You can always just go to the journal and open it again. Okay, great. Or so just a note: if you click on the top left hand icon, it pops it out, and then you can minimize it and then pop it back open as needed. That's a good point, Bob. Thank you. Uh, who is the backup driver for each of the vehicles? Well, I can backup drive our vehicle. I only have a like a like a two for piloting, so. I can back up drive Trigger, but Trigger is the best. We do not need backup driver. He could drive with one eye closed, one hand behind his back. Yes, and I worry. Uh, what if he is not on the in the pilot in the uh, front seat anymore? Wait, Ghost, Ghost, don't tell Lala. That's what I was gonna do anyway. Haha. <laughs> Sorry, I did not mean to spoil. That's okay. That's okay. Oh, I do have piloting. What was that, Chris? He does have piloting. Oh. All right. So there's clearly a, a, the path in which uh, Tahoman and his other guys left. I think we should go in the exact opposite direction. Just for fun. I think what we should do, Ghost, 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 here's what we're going to do. We'll, we'll tell Ayalisi to drive first, and this way we can stay behind her so that if there's a cliff or something, she goes off at first. Oh, you are a smart trigger. That is good idea. 
Am I really with Trigger and Ghost? Oh, God. <laughs> what, Nala? Oh, what is the problem, Captain? You are here. Sh should Let's... I start rolling up a new character? Or Make, is it it... So. <laughs> Make it so. No? Make it so, no? No, no, no. You are in the right vehicle for not having to roll up another character. Yes. <laughs> All right. And I'll ask you who actually read the vehicle. I, did. I read it. Like a week ago. It's all about the pilot. It, it really is. is all, all. It will engaging and disengaging the parts you care about. So if you do encounter somebody else, you want if you want to have melee combat. So like if Adam wanted to leap from one to the other, you would that. I at least would have to engage the other vehicle. Yep. You have to uh, speed up, get to the same spot, and then engage. Yes. So. All right. I like to do the more of the evading part. The evading part? Yeah, that we should do more of that. All right. Yes. So the um there's trees and stuff, but it's still navigable. Um some occasional big rock, but you can avoid everything driving at regular speed. You don't have to go single file if you don't want to. You can kind of go side by side. Uh tell me what you want to do. Side by side. We'll go side by side. I have a much better piloting than her anyway. Yes, you do. <laughs> what is your piloting, by the way? Uh, uh, Ace 11. Wow, nice. Wow. Plus, as an Ace pilot, yeah. don't you get bonuses? Like, as your theme, as Ace pilot theme, doesn't that give you extra stuff? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I better be good at this. This is what I'm supposed to do. This is, like, the reason. We... <laughs> Bless you. Bless you. <laughs> And you're, Bless. and technically your engineer and your Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. I'm done now. Holy. I'm really done now. All right, so you set off. Your vehicles don't make a, a ton of noise. That's good. Um, you're traveling a, about an hour. Oh, they blow my nose. It's a lot better. You get a little breeze. The, the, the heat the jungle isn't... Trigger, trigger. Yeah, trigger. Uh, 50 bottles. Yeah. Trigger. Go, go, go. What's up? What? what? Are, are we there yet? Oh, uh, no. Not yet. Oh, okay. All right. Thank you for the Jurassic Park. You're done with the dinosaur, though. Trigger. <laughs> hey, Trigger. Yes. How about yes, now? Are we there yet now? Uh, almost. We're still almost there. Oh, okay. Can everybody give me a perception check, please? Twelve. Twenty-four. Eleven. Twenty-four. Hey, snap. Twelve. There's my there's my rolls again. I mean my bad rolls again. Ooh, that was base two. Oh no, I'm sorry, that was that was a two. I actually don't have a Oh that's Sivian. Yeah, yours didn't come through. That's interesting. Hashtag D twenty? Well, I made a uh, a macro so I could just put pound D twenty plus oh, and that's then the a number. Cool idea. That's a really nice idea. Which did which did work previously, Adam. I saw it work once. Mm -hmm. Is there a space between the plus and the zero? Is that why? They're supposed to be. Oh, okay. You know what it is? It's case sensitive. Oh, what is it, like mail? That Amazon. Yeah. All right. Um, everybody who rolled over a twenty. We. Which is me. nobody in the purple vehicle. You'll know, denote the purple vehicle um, and the green vehicle. So only the people in the green vehicle hear, or actually just ghost and trigger, think they might hear another vehicle or vehicles approaching. Trigger. From behind us or in front of us? Good thing we telepathically. Did uh, Ilisi roll well? Nope. Okay. Uh, Mike had a question for you, Josh. Yes? Uh, for, do we do, from from in front of us or behind us? It's it's hard it's hard to tell. There's a lot of wind, with, you know, a lot of noise from the wind. You just hear a whine that's not coming from your vehicle. Uh, okay. Trigger, do you do you hear something? I do. I I, I do. Go 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 go. I, I I think there's another vehicle. You sh you <gasps> should tell Nala. Yeah. Yes. I, I hear you guys, and I and I send out a uh, uh, a telepathic uh, warning that. Uh, the mice hear a um, rats might have rats. heard a, the rats. The, ra the rats might have heard a uh, another vehicle. 
All I right. Think, I think Maybe it is that way, in. but I am not sure. Josh, I slow down my vehicle and I pull in behind <laughs> Ayalisi. All right. Are you in the same zone still? Uh, no, we're behind her now. No. This yes. The yes. zone is about a 50 foot distance. It would, it would be, if you were closer than. You broke up closer than what? 50 feet. We need to be so that we could uh, yeah, I, I talk assume, telepathically. Yeah, yeah. I would assume that we're within 50 feet. Okay. So recognize this is a bit of an abstraction based on how the rules are written, what I'm showing you now. So um, from Ialisi's left, coming out of a, behind a copse of trees, comes a vehicle with, uh, let me get to the right layer so I can do this right, with three cultists in it. And um, uh, coming, it hit a, um, a, a, a small knell in, in a small hill, hurling up, coming in close next to um, the other group is another vehicle. So you can see all of them now. So now we're going to have... Colors. There's a lot of colors on the screen, yes. <laughs> um, so uh, we're going to have a actual... Event. Uh, vehicle chase Ooh. combat. I'm in the bad place. I should have picked a green car. Oh, don't don't worry about left and right. That doesn't matter at this point. Oh. These are just uh, how would you know? So we begin with a pilot action. Each vehicle pilot uh, selects his pilot actions and attempts those. Uh, we're actually going to roll initiative too. So why don't we do the init thing first? Okay. Is it just All the pilots rolling in or everybody? Everybody rolls everybody. in. Okay. Uh, Josh, I can select my character this session. I don't know what you did, but you fixed it. All right, Google's got sixteen point four. Sixteen point four. Oh, and it automatically adds to the turn order now as well. So if you guys click on your, well, you'd have to use the character sheet to get that. Never mind. Turn. I will add everybody quick, but you should be able to edit them. Yes, I can. Edit. Actually, Bob, you should be able to able add them. I'll be happy to. See if you can add Mikey. Let's just let's just see. I'm doing Sivian. Right yep, Sivian's added. Can you add? Can you actually add a character to the order? Oh, to add a character to the order. Oh, we'll do. Let's yeah, see. Add Nala or or a trigger. Negative. I can click on them to select, but I can't seem to right click to choose add to turn order. Okay, so there they all are. Okay, I have a stupid. Qu Never mind. Now it worked. Apparently, you I press your... the enter key on the keyboard, not on the number pad. Oh, Adam, you have really? to add your you add your initiative bonus to whatever you rolled on your D twenty. Oh, okay, thanks, Jeff. <laughs> Trigger, what'd you get? Seventeen. Seventeen it is. Nala? Eighteen. Whoa, we rolled pretty high. Jeez, yes. Alright. So there there's the 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 initiative order. However, the pilots go first. Hmm. All right, so the pilots tell me what they want to do. So there's three actions. Pilot action. Each vehicle's pilot selects his pilot actions, attempts at the need of checks. Chase. The GM moves the vehicles to the new zones. And then combat, where you can shoot at each other, try to board another vehicle, etc. So Ozzy, if you yell at Ilisi, get close to that one, I want to jump over there. She's going to try to engage that vehicle as her... Um, Action on her piloting turn. Gotcha. Hi, Lisi, what are you doing on your on your piloting? Turn? Well, what do you guys want to do? Do you want to get closer or do you want to try to... I don't need to get close. Uh, yeah, do you right. want to kill things or do you want to run away? <laughs> it seems like running away would be more efficient. Josh, do they have the same buggies as we do? Yes. Actually, I was just looking at the like the emblems on the hood. They're all the same. That's because these are the people who left the buggies behind who we took them from. Mm -hmm. Correct. But it's also the single buggy that I found that I like the icon of. <laughs> <laughs> Serendipity. It all works out. Trigger, what are you doing? Well, while I at least he no, figures out. Trigger is going to attempt to evade. I'm just going to... How... What was that? How close are we? You're all in the same zone. Like feet-wise. Within 50, feet, 50 feet? 
within 50. If you want to get, if you want to be, um, if ILEC or well, in this case, ILEC engaged um, the other vehicle next to her, that would mean that you could attack melee with a reach weapon. So, I, or you can make attempts to jump over or so on and so forth. Gotcha. So I okay. feel like uh, maybe engage would be a good maneuver to allow Ozzy's tacklash to take a strike on one of the bad guys. Or if we can get away without getting hit, that'd be good too. I, I don't know. I really, I'm not sure what what we should do. I'm just gonna say, I at least you drive. Have some action. Have some fun. I said, pull to action. Let's get engage. In that case, case I mean, dun 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 dun. <laughs> Thank you. I at least you gonna engage. I guess. Yeah. I at least you. <clears throat> Sorry. I at least you. Bring us closer. Oh, oh right. come on. Where's your captain's voice? <laughs> that is his voice. <laughs> I at least see. I was a sergeant, not a captain. Okay, I worked for a living. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the the just the record the KAC of the exploration buggy is fourteen. Oh, nice! It beat it. So you need to uh, to engage. Uh, what is it? Enemy? You, you have to beat the enemy vehicle vehicle's KAC. That's good because they're engaging you as well. Oh. Um. So they fail, but you succeeded, so you guys are engaged <laughs> in combat. Um, Mikey, what were you doing? Uh, my plan was to evade. Okay, well, they're going to... So give me 10 plus the vehicle's item level, which I think is 3. So you need a 13 DC. Oh, wait. Which vehicle am I engaged with? The one on the left. doesn't matter. Okay. What'd you roll, Mikey? 23. All right, so they are. Um, I at least see also on her uh, turn as part of that uh, tells us what she's doing. Sure. Telepathically. Yeah. All right, um, they are going to try to. Um, interesting. It doesn't actually tell me how to do that. They are going to try to ram you, Mikey. So that is going to. I'm going to call that a trick, which is 15 plus the item's uh, level. And then on top of that, uh, because Mike successfully evaded, it's uh, another two to his uh, AC of his vehicle, right? Right. So my natural six is a fail. Um, so they, the, you guys actually, hold on a second. Evade Wait. the ram. Wait, you. Say they move forward zone as well. I thought RAM was only for stationary targets. Yeah, well, we're playing it different. Okay. I like it as a oh. trick. Oh, no. What have you done, Trigger? Wait. Ah. Okay. <laughs> you guys advanced one. <laughs> you guys advanced one. All right. So oh, because we're racing. Right. And, uh, I, Lisa, you guys are engaged with the pink vehicle. Um, so, uh, Sivian, go up. Good. I'm. And the uh, driver, I'm going to go ahead and use my He's going to do a right. mind thrust. Okay, so what do you need for that? Do you need line of sight or anything? I assume covers the collective by that. Let's see, one standard instantaneous. We're close, I'm assuming 20. David Rowe is Will. Hold on a second. Yeah, I'm yeah, you're engaged. If you're engaged, you should be within 20 feet. Yeah. Actually, it looks like the range is 25 feet plus 5 additional feet for every two levels. So he's level 3, so it's 30 feet range. How does he get a level 1 spell that does 2d10 damage? It's, because I'm awesome. Because awesome. he chose wisely. <laughs> that just it sounds so overpowered as a level 1 spell to me. Yeah, that's a really cool... But it's a will save reduces it by half. Sure. But then don't I have that special power? You're really good at your spells. You don't, didn't you, like, put two feats into making your spells super hard to uh, resist? Correct. All right, so roll something and tell me what I have to save against. Yeah. All right. Uh, Is that 1d20? There's, what do uh, I, there's no I, roll here on your side except for damage, Chris. Uh, Josh, you oh, have okay, to good. roll the will throw to determine if it's half damage or not. So if you want to roll the damage, the 2d10, Chris, you could do that. Yep. 
All right. And then Josh, the DC that you have to achieve, Chris, you've got the DC listed in your spell table on the character generator sheet. Um, so you have to tell, look under that spell and tell Josh what the number is to resist. I roll a 15. All right. That's close. Yeah, it's going to be really close, even with his. That's team. close. Let's see. Mind bus. DC. Nala, be prepared to act. It's DC 15. Uh, uh, so, he saves, so he only takes half damage, so he takes four. just made it. Wait, isn't there. God, I don't know. Down here. In uh, the, 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 again, plus two bonus to caster level. No, from a creature all distance. No, no. no uh, well, there's some other thing here, but port. Cool. All right, good. All right, just a reminder: the the drivers do get to act. So if they want to shoot a weapon, they can. All shots. You guys are at full speed, so all shots are minus four. Hmm. Nala. <clears throat> I am going to switch seats with Ghost or Trigger. Which one's not driving? I am sitting next to you. What is the matter? You can't tell the difference between the two of us? That is racist. <laughs> that one. <laughs> that is, that is <laughs> that I switch seats so he's right. closer to the uh, attacking uh, vehicle. You've already done that. I think it doesn't matter. Uh, you, by the way, you guys are a zone ahead, so plus feet ahead. Repeat, you uh, kind of... Because out. because you guys evaded in, in head, you were over, you were 100 feet ahead now. Okay. So it's a 100 foot shot, so check your weapon ranges. Exactly. Got it. And mark your, and mark your ammo. Yep. I, I just delay. I'm <laughs> at a minus four. Um, geez. Don't worry, Nala. I'm, 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 I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to get in front of them, and then, and then I'm going to draw them in. Ah, will you do your thing, and I will wait. You're gonna do what? Go between them? <laughs> <laughs> I least, okay, I least see. I'm gonna shoot at the blue guy with my, the blue guy in the pink buggy with my azimuth laser pistol. Okay. I believe you can also shoot at the buggy itself to try to disable it. It depends how open it is, whether they have, they might have cover. Somebody read it. I rolled a natural 14, what does that mean? What is your bonus? Jeff, check the roll 20 chat. Oh, I, know, I know you had mentioned something about a minus 4. Yeah, but I need to know your bonus. Ah, yeah. I rolled a 16. You rolled a 16, their, uh, their EAC, this is an EAC, is a 12, so a 16 is a hit. Alright. To roll damage. You were targeting the driver of the vehicle, right, Jules? Yeah. I'm not a total idiot. I Four. Care, I was just asking. <laughs> All right, the driver takes another shot. All right, uh, trigger or Nala. Hang on one second. I'm, I'm looking uh, up my spell. I wonder because my uh, my get him. Yep. Says target an enemy. Is it does the could the enemy be the other vehicle or a person? Does it have to be a person on the vehicle? I think it has to be a person on the vehicle. Well, I say let's go get that driver right there. I, I can't use that accent. Sorry, Southern let's just go get Z. When did you for the driver? <laughs> Which driver? For the driver, the purple one, uh, the, the green one's closest to us, right? The blue one, the blue dot. We're the green dot. So the oh, we're, we're up ahead. Okay, yeah, the uh, the blue see one. Your picture's on the green one. Yep. So purple like your guy with the blue within buggy. the blue within the blue vehicle, Josh. We want to get the purple dot guy. You're right. He's the driver. Yes. Don't we get plus two for if we're ahead for shooting? I think that's just for piloting checks. That is just for piloting checks. Then I'm all set. <laughs> you're not shooting? Nope. Oh, you're not taking a shot as well? Is there a aiming feature to... I haven't seen that anywhere. Is there yeah. an aiming... Like, uh, what, what was that that we did? That, that, that was World Savage. Savage Worlds. Worlds. Although, if you have a sniper rifle, 
if you use aiming, it'll expand your range by like five times. Yeah. None of that would actually apply in a high speed chase though. Yeah, agree. <laughs> no. So you might it doesn't hurt you to pull a trigger other than Except that we're tracking oh, ammo and you're talking constantly about how limited our ammo is. Yeah, but might can recharge your if you're just using a last laser because it might be recharged that. Go All right, it. I'll fire. Why not? You talk me into it. Yeah, because uh, there's no reason why not. I'm aiming for the driver. Uh, for the driver there. Mm -hmm. Sure. <clears throat> Natural eight. You son of a. You talked me into it and now. Uh, twelve. That is a miss. <laughs> And I am uh, in contact with everybody about what we're doing and trying to do. Are you are you cursing uh, when you miss and then sharing that curse telepathically with everybody as well? <laughs> uh, you might hear something. Yes. Yeah. Son of uh, a... Did anybody Hi. see? I just rolled a dice. Did anybody see it? No. Nope. Okay. Cool. No, I don't like. Oh, hidden dice rolls. Nice. No, no, I, I. I I'm being a little petty. I was looking at roll 20 today, and Bob has more achievements because he's been rolling more dice in roll 20, so I have to add some dice roll 20. So there's achievements in roll 20? Yeah, if you go under your account, there's achievements. I didn't even know that. Really? Oh, that's cool. I have about 8 or 10 of them. I have logged over 700 hours in 20. Bob, you're close at 645. But anyway. 685. 685? Sure. Whatever it was. You were 707. He was 685. Okay. Uh, I at least he went. Trigger is up. Uh, okay. Mikey has to be up there too, no? With all the remote. We didn't start yeah, using Roll Twenty until like two or three years ago. Twenty thirteen. Okay. Like seven, seven years, ago. years ago. I mean, yeah, something like that. <laughs> um. So, Josh, I want to move my vehicle. In in basically, what I want to do is I want to block them. Okay, that's that that's the pilot stage. It's not now. Oh, that's not now. Correct. You. That's the pilot stage. Happens the beginning. Now we're in the. Now you get to shoot things. You get to shoot or whatever you want to do then. Well, what what if I want to pilot again? That's the, the, and that needed to be done in the piloting yeah, phase as a double maneuver. Yeah, you gotta act in the piloting stage. Stays. This just makes sure that you get a chance to use your gun or do something that you're not just stuck being the pilot and losing a turn. Okay. So okay, th this is painful. Okay. Um. Okay, so I, I guess I'll shoot. Oh, you you can actually slam your vehicle into those of all. I misread when you could do that, but it does not tell you about getting in front or slowing anybody down. I, I, I'll do, I'm just going to shoot. Okay. Fourteen. Is that with the minus four? Ten. <laughs> and then, uh, I hate to ask, but uh, what's the range nope. increment on your weapon? Like, uh, what's the first range listed? My laser rifle is 120. Oh, so you take no no uh, minus for range, for the 100-foot range. That's good. I should say, just uh, collisions are when you're engaged with a vehicle. So Jules could have tried to ram them like in a, in a collision and attempt to damage their vehicle. Oh, thank you, Adam. Okay. So I, I have I have this vision of a rat driving at high speed, trying to control the vehicle over over land and operating a rifle. I know, right? <laughs> it doesn't work for me. <laughs> Shoot behind him. <laughs> I, just, I just wanted to drive the vehicle. <laughs> All right, Ghost truck. Uh, Ghost is going to try a trick attack with his azimuth pistol. So Don't forget, you get a bonus because you got to get him. Thank you. I will keep this in mind. So first on the trick attack, whether that part succeeds, is the CR 13 or less on the bad guy? So I'm going to visual or target. The 13 or less? What is thir yeah, CRs. Okay. So I get a plus two there. Then I get a minus four because we're in a car. So I'm at uh, minus two. And then uh, my base attack is uh, normally plus six, but that's a minus two as well for the distance. So I'm down to minus four, I mean a plus four, and then the minus two from before puts me at a total of a plus two to hit, 
Uh, so here's the roll. How's a 14? 14, I believe it's his EAC of 12 successfully. And you're targeting, you're targeting the purple? I was targeting the driver. Purple in the blue car, got it. That's right. And the damage is six points of fire damage. All right. It was the purple cultist and the blue buggy with the, with the azimuth laser azimuth pistol. Laser pistol. <laughs> so just as a an F my battleship. No, wait. <laughs> uh, just as an FYI, if nobody is driving the vehicle, I mean, you kill the driver, it will continue straight. Um, I forget what the, what the terminology you hear. What if I hit it? Um, uh, who, who is making so much rattling noise? I'm sorry, I ran and got the yogurt. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was me. I don't know. All right. All right. The cultist go. The cultist driver of the pink vehicle, which is engaged with Ilisi, oh, yeah. attempts to ram the vehicle into them. Uh, my natural 17 is going to be a success. I have a really good question. Yeah? Are we in England? No. Why? Because the blue buggy... Jules, I don't I care. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know. I'm trying to have an action... I drive, I drive a guy. <laughs> All right. They successfully ram your vehicle. Um, the ram causes 4d4 damage. Whoa. Uh, it is a DC 10. So I'm assuming Jules can ev can reduce that by half. So Jules make a DC 10 check. You get a... There is no plus to piloting, so it's just a straight up DC 10. That you is can... not... You can use a Benny if you want. I say use the Benny. Yeah, I'm going to use the Benny. All right. Good luck. Jules minus one Benny. You have two left. All right, roll the d20 again. Is Benny spelled with Y or an IE? IE. All right, oh, so Jules no. is playing. <laughs> okay, save your right, Bennys sure. now for the damage that we're about to take. <laughs> she rolled a natural seven. I'm going to assign buggy damage too, and I have to track that. I hadn't thought I would have to. Um, and also, they take half of their own, half of their calibrage damage to their own vehicle. Oh, that's good. So here, just for fun, come on, go to the right screen. Oh, it's slash roll, Adam. Yes. Yeah, slash roll forty-four. Forty-six, right? Forty-four in this case. Oh, forty-four. Nine. So your your buggy takes nine, and their buggy takes four. Um, well, that's good. Some... At least he rolled an odd number, so they maximize their half damage. That's what I can't see your rolls. You can't see my rolls? Can Did you guys see my rolls? Nope. nope. They're nope. still hidden. Now we see it. Okay. Yeah. I rolled the 3D dice because I was being selfish. Oh, yeah, no. All right, so they take four. And Jules takes um, nine. The four is green, and the two ones are. Good and bad. Trigger. All right. Um, green and orange fire away with their uh, whatever wind driver they have. He's even unconscious out here. They fire away with their uh, scatter guns, um, targeting. This, these are the two that are in the vehicle um, next to Ilisi. They're going to target Sivian. Sivian. Uh, so, might as well see 20 in the screen here. Let's roll. If I roll two, uh, two D twenty. So three and eight are both gonna miss, is my guess. Minus four. Uh, going into the other vehicle, uh, they are gonna target. All three are going to target um, Trigger as the driver. Ooh. Your video just cut out. Fine. Yeah. Does he have some cover? Uh, they get a minus four. Yep. 
and they're 100 feet away, so they probably get a minus two because of the range yeah. distance, depending on their weapon. I gotta check their weapon here. Uh, Bob, can you check that this is not a ranged utility scatter gun? Uh, range utility scatter gun. I am minus six. Oh yeah. <laughs> Mike Just probably. kidding. I know. <laughs> The scattered gun is 15 feet. Oh, it's 15 feet in that short range? Oh, it's a shotgun. Yeah, it's a shotgun. Alright, so they are they are unable to attack you. Uh, their pellets fall in front of their vehicle. No, they'll just turn and, and target Ozzy and the other... Oh, they're not engaged there, so they, can't, they, aren't, they aren't even that close. Um, they are effectively done. Ozzy, you're up. It doubles. One, two, three, four, five. You can go out five ranges. So 15, 30, 25, 60, uh, plus 15, which is 75. 90 is five increments with a minus yeah. six. If you want and they're to... 100 feet ahead. So No, no, no. If, if they target you guys, Adam, they're in your zone. So the yeah, no, I thought Bob was talking about you, about his uh, buggy. All right. No, I'm so talking... I'm... Sorry, I was just explaining this. The scatter gun, you could target them, but you have to take a minus six or a minus eight just because of the range difference. On top I'm going to call them a range three. That's midway. You said you go with the five range increments, so I'll go three. So that is a minus what, Bob? Uh, it's, every 15 feet is another minus two to hit. So just figure out how many dis how much is the distance, and then divide by 15, and multiply by two. Okay, so the most it could be is 45. So it would be it would be minus it would be two zones. Um, so that would be minus two more. I agree. Okay, so uh, minus well, two. Uh, 45. So yeah, it would be minus two. Oh wait, right. fifth, sorry, they're baseline 15. So minus two to get to 30, minus four to get to 45. Okay, so the minus eight total. Yes, I agree. Ooh, a natural 20. Ooh. One actually hit one actually hit Ozzy. Nice. Ozzy, you are taking 1d4 plus 1. <laughs> Ow. Uh, actually, uh, the scatter gun is a blast. So, it fires in a cone. That extends. Oh, sorry, that extends only to its first range. Oh, hang on, I'm just reading. My apologies, Josh. The scatter gun, because it fires the last special character, does not extend beyond the 15 foot range. All right, so they are unable to do anything effective, and they're done. Ozzy's up. Uh, Ozzy is going to jump. And he's going to grab onto the roll cage above the other vehicle and use that to swing and kick the the driver of the purple vehicle and try and knock him out of the, the side of the vehicle. Ooh. All right. So um, two things. Can you turn his volume down a little bit? Just Discord? Adam? Yes. Just Adam. Um, so you need to give me a, an athletics check. Athletics check. I believe it was your choice. Thank goodness. Boarding. Uh, yes, you is an acrobatics or athletics check with the case boarding. What's the, you're breaking up? What's that? It's five. Plus, the DC is five plus the KAC of the vehicle. Right, but what am I rolling? You're rolling it. Uh, athletics or acrobatics? Your choice. Okay. Yes. I think he's an athlete. I'm guessing. Yes. Why you don't think the big lizard's an acrobat? <laughs> Actually, in this armor, I'm slightly more acrobatic, but I'm going to go with my athletic. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> oh, natural two. Put you at do, you wish to, do you wish to use a Betty? No, I'll just stay where I am. <laughs> okay. If you fail by more than five, you fall off. Okay, <laughs> what, what was the target? 16. <laughs> okay, that's 16 minus 13 is less than 5. You have like the a... skin of your teeth. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, we are now in uh, pilot mode. I, Alicia, you are engaged. You can look at your look at your pop out to see what you want to do. Mikey, look at your pop out, see what you want to do. If you want to slow down and get next to them, so you can engage them better. If you want to do a trick, um, there's a series of trees coming up. Tell me if you want to if you want to do a two wheelie driving thing off of a ramp of rocks. You tell me that. Make it as exciting as you want. 
Trigger, can you get me close? I will jump over. I can get you closer, ghost. Is Ozzy still in my buggy, or is yes. he in the other buggy? Ozzy did not successfully transport. Um, Mikey, you can slow down for no effort, and you can try to engage as regular. Ramming so that speed, is... Trigger! Ramming speed! <laughs> Wait, we're in front of Ghost. Hit the brake! So you, you can slow down for no cost, you don't even have to roll for that, and then you have to roll to engage. I, I want to move my vehicle over. What was that, Mikey? I want to move my vehicle in front of them. Okay. I want to attempt to block their forward progress. You, you're already ahead of them. Yeah, you're already ahead of them. You're already ahead of them. I want to get in front of them to make it easier for ghosts to jump on their vehicle. There's no mechanic for ghosts to do that. You have to be in the same zone. I thought this was all about action and flavor tonight. Yeah, th this is painful as shit, dude. <laughs> I like this. this we will engage them in a front to back instead of side to side. You know, Trigger jumps out of the vehicle and goes home. <laughs> all right, I'll disconnect you. <laughs> you, you know, Eva, you, this is why we had the backup driver. They're, they're, the, the way the way it's designed, Mikey. Right? You have a zone. You're 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 tag teaming. You're if you're in their zone, right? You're you're within thirty or forty feet up to fifty feet. Of them. You're 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 in. You're up and back and back and forth. If you're ahead of them like you are now, you're a hundred feet ahead of them. That's just how it's written. So you just want to drop back to their zone. I understand you want to try to do something cool. You just need to drop back and engage. You can engage front to back if that's what you want. It, just the way I'm presenting it doesn't show it that way. But it would be the same way. And he'd get a plus two on that engage roll because he's ahead of them at the moment. Correct. Sure. Uh, let's do that. Okay. So you slow down automatically. There's no cost for that. And I can't bring the freaking guys with me. So even and, though it looks like we are side by side, right now, Mikey, we are directly in front of their vehicle. You have slowed down and, and tried to put us right up against their nose. Right. Okay, yes. I rolled a natural 20 for my engage roll. All right, so you, you guys are engaged with them. You engage you the ever-loving shit out of them. Yes, you are, you are nose the bumper. They give that you a ring. And they say yes. Straight to yes, marriage. We will, we will accept your engagement. <laughs> <laughs> um, they were they were trying to speed up to catch you, so they they have no role. Um, the um, person who is um, piloting the pink buggy is going to try to push Ilisi toward a tree. Oh, I don't want to do that. Why didn't I get to do anything? Uh, tell me what you want to do. Do I have to break free before I can do anything else, or can I do some of these other things while engaged? You tell me, tell me what you want to do, and then we will tell you if you can or cannot do it. We'll tell you. Just it. go, just go crazy. Do whatever. Do it. Try to do something really cool, and he'll tell you you can't do it because it's. I, I want you to hit the brake, turn the wheel, and flip over. <laughs> flip over it. I want to shoot down at them, and then land on wheel as flip over Dude, you're on the other side. Chris, you're just having Fast and Furious 7. That's, that's yes, pretty much I wanted, yeah. I want to uh, do that. Technically, there's not a mechanic for that. So. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. If you're not in the same zone, you can't do it, Chris. <laughs> just going to do the... Dude, the, point, the point being, trip. if you get two zones away, you, you, you drive away and you're done. I mean, it's, it's, oh. it's meant as a chase. If now let's go away. drive away. You know, it would have been good if we had like some notes of this and we could have read up on the rules. <laughs> All right, Josh, I can't see your finger. I, I can't see your video, but are you giving me the finger right now? No, I'm laughing at you. <laughs> ram them, ram them, Eilis. Ram them. Can I ram them, or is that? Yeah, I mean, if you, if you, yeah, you you don't want him to push him into a tree. So the only way to do that is to attempt to knock him off course. Yeah, yeah you, you can try to push him against the tree too. Oh, yes, I do. push him against the tree. All right, give me a roll. Give me your d twenty. 
<laughs> um, My 19 versus your one is not going to bode well for your activities. At least he drives into a tree. <laughs> How long is it since you got your license, Alisi? This is, this is worse than scratching your car. Is drink? What's what is? I think there? you are getting points for that one. Oh boy! Oh. Change the dice. Alisi, quick initiative roll. Find the insurance from the box in the glove compartment. It's over. Turns it over. Exchange the insurance card with the bad guy quickly. All right. So he. I'm not good under pressure. He he. he pushes your car toward a tree. He uh, he deals a few points of damage to it. Um, scratches the paint. I, I will give you a choice as the driver of the vehicle. You can take damage to the vehicle or everybody in the vehicle can suffer an extra minus one. Forever? For this, for, for this turn. <laughs> for the rest of our lives. <laughs> That's not what I meant. <laughs> Wait a minute, what are we agreeing to here? What does a minus one in real life mean? I don't know if I like this. It, it, it means, We're like shaken. Yeah, it means that the car's been... She, she had to do some bad things to make the car not hit the tree. I think and you have a little less control. In real life, it's like I only got five hours of sleep. I, I would imagine that's a minus one. Or or like, oh my goodness, we almost died. What are you doing? And our, you know, we have our adrenaline's flowing a little harder and it makes it harder to... Yes. Twelve years down the road, you're trying to jump across a small stream, and your knee buckles on you. He did nine damage out of the twenty. Nice reference there, Jeff. Oh, then I'm going to take the minus. All right, so everybody in Ilysi's buggy takes an additional minus one to their actions because she chose to not smash into the tree. <laughs> if I fall out of the car because of this, it's your fault. <laughs> All right, Sivian, you're up. Uh, I'm going to. Target the driver and telepathically command to run. Oh. All right, you have a spell. <laughs> he just rolled a. What is that? A one? That's a natural one. Oh my god! No, it's it's it. So it's a. I need that. I don't care. To the communicators to <laughs> I can't. I can't open. What is it, Chris? I'm gonna Benny that. I just want him to. You only have one Benny. Yep, I don't care. Okay. Come on, on your D, your D four. Oh wait a minute! Here hang on, hang on! Don't use that Benny. Wait, uh, you do not roll for the command spell. It works like mind thrust. Uh, Will negates it, so you need Josh oh. to roll against your fifteen. Whew. So oh, do okay. not use that Benny. It's not being Good job, used. Bob. It's a uh, wait. Hold on, I gotta see what. Uh... I rolled a fifteen. I get a plus. What do I get for will saves? Ooh, my will's my best one. Plus three, so eighteen. No, no my fifth. That blocks the command. You successfully okay. resist. Okay. Uh, Nala, you are engaged with the enemy. You can move. You can attack with the reach weapon, which I don't think you have. You can. <laughs> No. Move from one vehicle to the next with an athletics or acrobatics check. I'll go the opposite direction. Um, I'm going to point at the driver of our uh, uh, of the um, car that's approaching us and say, "Get Zim, at, uh, aim at him," and I'm going to fire right in his face. Oh. Yeah, you are. So I'm going to. No. All right, go ahead. Make your roll. What are you going to do? So confused. I'm telling I'm, I'm joking with something with Jules here. Oh. 14. Uh, Good joke. 16. Ooh. There's no minus four this time because you're in the same zone, I think, or no? Mm hmm. No, the, the, the minus four is, a real, is, is really the movement. Oh, it's the movement. All right. So there's yes. still the minus four, but there's no distance penalty now. Correct. If if he had jumped on the vehicle, the next turn he would have no, um, no 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 uh, um, penalty. Yeah, no no penalty because he would be on the same vehicle. So you're a, a sixteen minus four is a twelve against. Is it energy or kinetic? It's an azimuth laser pistol, so it would be EAC. Okay. Does that hit? What do you what do you he rolled a twelve? Yeah. He rolled a sixteen, he got minus four, so his result was a 
After everything said and done, it's a 12. That is a hit. Yeah. Yes, yes. Hey, Bob, look up my flash. See if that does anything. Uh, type it up. Three so damage. All right. Um, I least see. Is he still alive? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm going to daze. I'm giving you options, and I'll tell you to do that. I know, no, it's a smart option, because it's going to be a lot harder to drive if you're dazed. So I'm going to daze the pink buggy blue driver. All right, so Jules is activating her. Can I get her what daze does? It's on her symbol. I know. I, think I have no idea what daze is. I think daze is just lose one turn. I'm pretty sure. You are unable to act normally. You can take no actions, but no penalty to your AC. So he cannot act. Uh, I would hazard that his, his, so on his drive, he cannot um, do anything but continue at regular speed. It's, cool. it's probably just a, it's as though it's it's as though there's no no uh, driver and it's drifting. Uncontrolled. No, it's not. It's is there un, uh, uncontrolled means it just keeps going. Yes, because he can't do anything. Right. He's, sitting so, in the, he's sitting there, but he's not doing anything. So next turn, he'll be uncontrolled. He will have no option to act at all. during the, He can't attack now. He can't pilot next turn, but he can attack next turn. Because his days will be over at that point. Yes, that sounds good. Not unless we get away first. All right, trigger, you're up. Well, we got to get two zones ahead to get away, so. Or you can disable the vehicle or kill everybody. Trigger's going to shoot. Trigger's going to shoot the driver, the purple guy. All right. Natural, natural 19. That is going to hit without a doubt. Um, he does nine points of damage. Fire Oof. damage. Oof. He is, he is shaking. He bangs his head on the wheel. He is groggy as can be, but he is still maintaining control. Barely. Ghost, you're up. Uh, Chris has uh, pointed out something about his character that is really cool. Uh, he's got a, a ability called uh, Backlash. Whenever he tries a mystic mental spell and it, it is completely negated by the willpower of the target, it does one point for every mystic level that he has. So when he tried to do the mind thrust, uh, that actually didn't do damage, but the command that he failed still does three points of damage. So All right. Chuck him down to that. three damage. I did that. Nice. Nice one. All right. Uh, Ghost is uh, dropping his azimuth pistol. He's out of his cheek pocket, spewing forth a tactical baton. He says, what's that for me? I will be coming back for it. And he tries to jump from the back of their buggy into the front of the bad guy buggy. All right. Uh, what is that, uh, acrobatics? So that is an acrobatics or athletics check. You got it. That is called boarding. Yeah, she did. Acrobatics check of 18. Are there any minuses? It is five plus the KEC of the vehicle. That is the KEC of the vehicle. It is fourteen plus five. Actually, it's nineteen. Uh, I will use a Benny, and I'll try okay. again. How about twenty-eight? How do you like that? Now successfully put ghost. Oops, no. There. <laughs> Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> Uh, th that was a move. Can you still? Attack? That was a move action. What's his name? That, that was your move. All right. So now you're welcome to thug or kill or do whatever ghost does. We're doing. Do any of those guys have um, re uh, reach weapons? None of them have a reach weapon. Okay, because that that move does provoke an attack of opportunity, but no, they just have a long I think sword. You need a reach weapon for it to do that. Uh, hold, I, hold on, I got that please right here. So I assume. Uh, they have credit ratings nine or less. Would that be true? Yes. Okay. That is correct. Adam, I'm not going to punish. Even even if they did, I'm not going to. I don't want to punish Bob for being cool about it. So. No, no, go ahead. Okay. I'll take the. And no, there is there isn't. I don't I don't see the book. I, I should make it easier for you guys to get from vehicle to vehicle because I think it's cool. So, 
Oh, uh, but it's okay. Even if you are using a reach weapon, you do not threaten any squares with the other vehicle anyway. So there's that too. So, uh, natural 20 with no, the survival right knife on the driver. Uh, right, he is not going to get up. <laughs> that is uh, 9 plus 9, 18 points of damage. Okay. All right, he goes, he slumps uh, over the wheel. Dead. Uh... I, I tur Ghost turns around to the other two in the back seat. He says, look at me. I am the captain now. <laughs> Actually, I'm just wondering, since... Uh... Since Ghost is a um, Isoki operative, does that mean that he gets to run through the pockets of enemies as a swift action? <laughs> That's an interesting idea. Maybe we can persuade the GM, but no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Ghost has is, is, is effectively killed the, the driver of that vehicle. And the buggy um, is driverless. Correct. All right. So Pink and Yellow will attack Ghost with their long swords. And they just have long swords chilling in the. With they their, have melee their defiant long swords. Plus seven. Yeah. Are uh, they using able a long to draw sword them? inside of a buggy seems so like. This is going to hurt. I know. It doesn't yeah. work in but, my brain. But, but you know what's going to be even worse? When somebody decides to use a whip in, on somebody else in a buggy. So I'm not going to say no. I'm not going to say shit. Who that somebody might be? I don't know. All right. Oh, I think you guys get to see the rolls. Oh, that almost 18. Three and four are definitely going to miss. I think if you add them together, it does it still miss. miss. <laughs> I think I was very lucky. All right. The uh, the other three in the other vehicle, um, because they are engaged, um, green and orange will fire their scatter guns at one each at um, Sivian and Ozzy. And the driver will, will, will shoot at Ilyse. Uh, I at least see first. Natural one. That was, that was close. Fail. That was almost a 13. At, uh, Sivian. Oh, D20. That is a natural 19. That is going to hit. <laughs> all right, Sivian. I feel like our entire party only has two options tonight. Like, we're all in or we're not in. Sivian just took eight damage. Ooh. All right, and you 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 um, receive an entropic wound. Ooh. The the, um, the the cultist channels a moat of their deities' hatred of life into their attack. Any melee weapon a devourer cultist wields gains the additional. Oh, it's a critical hit. Never mind. Um, so you do not. You just you just take the twelve damage. Sorry, was that a, a follower of D&D's Hatred of Life? <laughs> <laughs> Only 5e. Oh, okay. <laughs> and lastly, we have the roll against Ozzy. Uh, 12 plus 8 is a 20. 12 plus 7 is a 19. Uh, that's a, there's long swords. Actually, either way, that's a It's a miss. It's a miss. That Lushuta right. ring wear armor is really working for you. Looks good on you. Oh, yeah. You know, I made an error here. One of the guys with uh, Ghost should have tried to take over control of the vehicle. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. Yeah. So the vehicle will just continue on at, at regular pace. Um, oh, if Mike wants to advance, he can, might be able to outpace them and then get out of the combat. Yeah, but Ghost is still in the vehicle. <laughs> I mean, you know, sacrifices. <laughs> All right, Ilyse and Trigger, what are your plans? If I speed up, does that mean that we're no longer You engaged? have to disengage before you can else. Wait, are we back in the pilot phase? We are back in pilot. Because no, I you get to go down the combat oh, Ozzy phase. Goes. Sorry, Ozzy goes. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Thanks. I'm sorry, Ozzy. Okay, Ozzy's going to yell at Ilyse and say, hold it still this time, and try to jump again. Oh, 29. Okay. Tell me what happened so, yeah. over there. Well, my, my, what I wanted to do is, like I said, I was gonna, I was gonna leap across, grab hold of the roll cage, and use that to swing myself forward and, and you know, 
give two big boots to the face of the uh, the driver of the pink. I don't know if they're what you want to do for that, if anything. Okay, I um, if you're going to use that for damage, that becomes a full action. Sure. All Actually, right. I wanted to try and push him out, like knock him out of the car. All right, that, then then just give me a uh, pose strength check, I guess, huh? Sure, I can do strength. <laughs> what, what do we do for that? Just the the modifier. I rolled I rolled a d five. I meant to do it on screen, but I rolled d five. I rolled five. His did you, wait, did you roll a d five? I know I rolled a d twenty. I rolled a five. His strength is three, so I have an eight. <sighs> you know, you know, since we're doing pulp, you know what the uh, the sound bite is here, right? Dude, this is like when Indiana Jones threw the guy out the window. <laughs> no, this is a total Wilhelm scream right now. Ah! Ah! Too, but... <laughs> you leave him behind. <laughs> There's no driver in either one of the cultist vehicles right now. Does that mean we win? <laughs> <laughs> if we play our cards right. Except for the fact that you have two guys you've left behind right now. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Don't pull away without me. We have lost two guys, but we have gained two buggies. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, it's simple math. I they can drop the buggies themselves. I Alicia and Trigger. Um, with a simple, I'll call it. Uh, we'll call it DC eight, which is the level of the vehicle plus five. You can guide that vehicle into a location where it can't, where it's forced to stop by it. Like a tree? A tree or a, a ditch? A, 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 yeah, because there's nobody driving it, so there is no gas being applied really, so it'll, eventually it'll slow down anyway. But you can drive it into a more graceful crash for your guys on board. I, I have a question. Does, it, does that mean that the sudden impact will cause damage to the occupants of said vehicle? If they fail their DC, yes. Nice. Okay, cool. <laughs> I really wanted the answer to be yes, so. Jules made it. DC 13. She made uh, The DC was... Made it. I rolled a 19. Mikey? Mikey? I lost, I lost, I lost, I lost this picture. So, sorry, He's sorry, there. there. Uh, I see him. I, I was on mute on, on uh, <coughs> Discord. Sorry. That's all right. Um, give me a DC eight check. Uh, I rolled a natural fourteen. All right, so you're able to, to slow the other vehicle enough. Um, it, it turns out, oh man, I'm so mad. I had other cool things planned for this, but you guys, I tried to, before I get to them. Sorry that we're just so good. It's all right. I'll work it another. Third ones. buggy comes out of the woods. <laughs> nope. Nope. Followed you guys. by a dinosaur. I shall. <laughs> the dinosaurs later, Bob. Shh. Wow. No, they got to drive in the buggy. Like <laughs> um, all right, so the, the... All right, then we just became impromptu. Oh, come on. Now we own buggies. It just became okay. impromptu combat. These guys are out of, getting out of the vehicle. Ozzy is... Um, okay. Same in this case. Oh, she has no Actually, you know what? For the word. Just, you guys didn't... We'll call this the stop as it is. Um... Vehicle motion has stopped. There are no minuses to attack. Your movement can be getting out of the vehicle and, and slugging somebody, or you can shoot. Sivian, you're up. Funny, the guy uh, in blue, this guy is gone. The guy down at him. The guy that thrown out. In the head is gone. We're not rolling new in it. <sighs> okay, good. Like All right, I'm going ahead and. Uh, there's, there's our, our Ilysi and, and uh, Ghost or Trigger still driving? Is there a pilot phase? Is what I'm Vehicles, all vehicles are stopped. So we're just in regular combat now? Regular combat now. Right. Use my pistol. What if they wanted to swing by and pick us up and take off? Uh, they could do that. If you just wanted to jump out and drive away, you could do that. Or there's experience. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Did you say experience? <laughs> Maybe money. Oh, I do good. not climb onto the other vehicle, the vehicle that I at least is driving. Money. <laughs> I'm going to use my cylindrical pistol and uh, fire at the orange guy. All right. You know, there's some good, bad, and ugly out of this. Him, him jumping over is good. The uh, pistol and exp the money and experience is, <laughs> is a good quote. But anyway, I'm sorry, Chris. Go ahead. You fire your no, pistol no, at orange. I did. It's a one. It's a one. That is not a good check. Yep. 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 Nala, you're up. 
Oh, you're uh, I say, aim for the yellow one. And I fire at that at the yellow one. He's scared. He's yellow. He's running. <laughs> Good. His mustard. Natural 19. That is going to be a hit. Three damage. Woo! That two keeps popping up. All right. It is definitely easier to hit on a distance shot, but it definitely doesn't deal the damage that melee does. Wait, at least I, he... uh, one quick question. Don't you have the lens pistol now, which does 1d8 instead of 1d4? Yeah, but it doesn't. if you roll a two on a 1d4 or 1d8, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair I enough. know. <laughs> Sorry. Try, yeah, thanks yeah. for... Sorry about <laughs> At least he's up. I'm gonna magic missile. Um, okay. The two guys in the both. Yeah. Focus fire. That's right. I'll <laughs> we'll go for the orange one. All right. Um. Three D four. Three D four. Three. Four. I thought you got a bite. Don't you have a bonus that that teeth one on the first one or? First one or something. Oh, the, oh yeah, they're all 1d4 plus 1. Alright, so it's 4, 6. I thought it was only plus 1. Well, there's only, well, there's, it's... Oh, I got a mine. You didn't, oh, you did pilot the drive, so that was your move action. Okay. So how much damage was then? 6? Six? 6. Against the orange? Yeah. Why do I have an R there? That's gotta be an L. Alright. Um, trigger. Maybe you thought it was red. Whatever. Finished here, you thought. Oh. I think you're on uh, mute, Mike. Where are you? Oh, thank, thank you, Bob. Uh, I'm gonna, I guess, jump out of the car. Move over here. You don't have to move if you don't want to. You can just shoot. It's up to you. Oh, I guess I can just shoot. I get, I get a partial cover from the car. All right, I'll just shoot it. Yeah. Uh, Could you open the door and use the door for cover like in all the cop shows from the 80s and 70s and 80s? <laughs> yeah, because that sheet metal does a lot. Because bullets, he's, never, bullets he, never go through car doors. Exits I know, the right? Car on the right-hand side, and then he jumps and slides over the hood mm -hmm. and then opens the car door. and gets TJ Hooker door. style? Yes, Hell exactly. yeah. Unnecessarily. Trigger, you're up. Uh, 17, Josh? 17's it. Okay, um, this is on the yellow guy? Yep. Is this the scatter gun? Uh, six, no, six points of damage. All right, trigger. Ghost is up. Yellow guy. Uh, well, still gonna use the baton on that guy. Ooh, does he have a CR zero or less? No, he does not. He has so, a CR one. I have failed my trick attack. It's just a standard attack. <laughs> what? Wait, operatives can fail? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, however, uh, I got a twenty-one against KAC. I rolled that. That is definitely 15. a hit. So we're looking at four points of kinetic damage. All right. All right, they get to go. Uh, um, oh, I am taking one guarded step. Oh, no, I can't. I did a track attack. Never mind. Okay. Um, green and orange are both going to attack Ozzy. 2d20. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that one hit the That's other one. awesome. <laughs> Wait, no, no, that 19 was a 1. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it, was a, it was a 19 to a 1. The uh, 14 is plus 7, so it's a 21. Oh, boy. And they're using their long swords? Yes. That's a miss. Really? I get, I get hit by the 19. 21 uh, is a miss? I got a 23 KAC, 21 That's EAC. Amazing. Oh, you got the big, you got the big armor upgrade yeah, last that year. armor was sweet. Yeah, you got the heavy arm. All right, so they miss um, pathetically. The other two um, will attack. Um, I feel like both. that's wrong. What's I, wrong? Well, I I, no, I I think I added this up wrong because I went from a seventeen to a twenty-one and a nineteen to a twenty-three. No, that's right. It's, it's like I got a plus 10. four. Okay. It's a plus ten. Okay, the other two are attacking uh, ghosts. Oh, uh, that nineteen did hit though. What's my damage on that hit? Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, uh, that is a D eight plus four. So oh, hold on a second, Adam. Bob, uh, I have a twenty six and a uh, fourteen. The twenty six is a hit. The fourteen is a miss. 
Okay. So against Adam. Uh, this plus four. No, well, roll again. Roll, roll it again. Why? <laughs> because I don't like you rolling eights on a D8. Is it, expo <laughs> is it exploding dice? Doesn't matter. No, I just want to take the lower. <laughs> and this is Bob. You took uh, 12, Adam. Um, so Bob will take nine. Okay. So I'm down to uh, 12 stamina. All right, Ozzy's up. Yeah, me too. Hmm. Uh, Ozzy will... Uh, uh, He's going to. He's just going to do a normal attack. On. Okay. Twenty is a hit. Eleven damage. Ow. And he rolled a two on his damage roll. Okay. <laughs> okay, I mean, my 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 damage roll is nine to thirteen. <laughs> no, sorry, ten to thirteen. Wow. Wow, uh, he takes it. You 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 open a, a whip tears through his flesh, maybe a large gash across his chest. But he's he's uh, he's hurt badly, but he is not down for the count. Everybody, give me a perception check. Twenty-three. Eleven. Seven. Rolled a one again. Okay, uh, everybody who rolled over. 10. Give me a uh, life science. Life science? What's, what's the outdoor one? Survival check. Survival? Survival. Survival. Oh, my perception went up. Wait. Does that include the plus two from the Ukulean book? What, Adam? Does that Would that include the plus two that we got from that book about the Ukulean? The survival check would. Nice call. Nice remembering. Uh, I am uh, I modified 18. 11. 24. Ooh. Chris, you made a DC 10 perception check. It didn't sound like you said that before. No, I did one, one, but I have a plus 10. Okay. So it's at 11. Jeff, what'd you get? 11. 11. All right. Sivian, rem uh, you, those of you who rolled um, over a 10 in your perception check see a, a pink mist starting to roll in. If somebody tells you to look at it, you can tell what you know. Um, but Sivian recognizes it as a spore cloud. Um, uh, can it's, not uh, see uh, yeah, that back. purple haze? And I'm not talking Matrix Man. That's a spore cloud. Very not good. Uh, I at least see, do you want to, as a culture check, I know you know what a spore cloud is. You want to it is? Yeah. St I have to roll. No, you already know. Okay, guys, so. That's a, we have a problem. Houston, Ukulam, we have a problem. We are fighting people <laughs> here. Can we talk about these later? No, no, no. Okay, so that's something that we need to be worried about. Um, because a mold storm is. So you use some toothbrush and toothpaste and some bleach, and we clean it. No. No. Um. So the way that these mold storms work, um. There's a lot of giant fungi that are going to get all over the place. Well, um, I am a little fun guy, and so is Trigger. We are fun guys. What is the big deal? Because <laughs> um, we are totally fun guys. We are totally fun guys. I agree. Well, these fungi can clog your respiratory systems and take root in living tissues, um, breaking down your flesh and inhabiting, inhibiting your neurological systems. So, not as fun as you. Uh, so, how do we stop dying from this thing? Wash our hands, social <laughs> distancing. How, how, do we, how do we save ourselves here? How uh, do we run away? <laughs> Go back to some isolation. Um, you know, maybe take a couple weeks, just chill by ourselves. 3D print ourselves some ventilators. You know. What do you do? I don't know. You didn't let me see that part. I read that. You didn't let me take a picture of that part. <laughs> Will our spacesuits protect us if we use? Oh yes, that's the thing. Your spacesuit can protect you four hours, right? I don't have a spacesuit. 
If you have your armor, armor. your armor will protect you. Oh, woo the level the only of person your who... armor is the amount of days, I think, that you could stay protected. Yeah. Yes. Time. The only person who had used a, a day of armor, I think, was Ozzy so far. I don't think I did. I thought it was Bob. one of the mice rats. It might have been. It might have I was going to, and then Josh explained the downsides that we would need it for later, and I was like, nope, uh, I don't want to sleep in air conditioning. So I decided to not do it. All right, so the, the purple mist is, is encroaching, the pink mist is encroaching on your, on your space. Um, this turn it won't be there, but next turn it will. Can I do something to make it go away? No, it's huge. It's a massive cloud. It's basically a giant fog of pink mist that's, that's rolling in. Um, Sivian, you're up. I, 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 engaging your armor is a quick action, so I was do that at this. Point. Yeah, I'm putting the armor. Yep, engaging it. <laughs> so you're hitting the button, and the face plate on your armor, the face plate just goes. Squish. And then I go no, because I didn't turn the microphone. <laughs> Sivian, we cannot hear you. you. Press your mute button. I think you are muted. <laughs> uh, I can do it telepathically too, so I can just speak like that. Oh, Get that your is, zoom. That is better. All right. So uh, just to recap, orange and the left vehicle is on his last legs. Green is on un hurt. The yellow on the right vehicle is hurt fairly badly. In D&D &D terms of 4E, he would be bloodied. bloodied. Uh, uh, and the pink guy is unharmed as well. Chris, if you're talking, I can't hear you. I lost your picture. So I... Sivian, not speaking. Your move, man. Oh, uh, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and jump out and attack the orc guy with my sword. Hmm. Man, it ain't gonna do nothing. I ain't gonna do nothing. Oh, dang, son of a nothing. <laughs> he sounds like Boomhauser now. <laughs> I said, did anybody expect the uh, the hippie mystic to have a sword? I've got to scratch my head at that one. He stole it from one of the bodies that we, one of the guys that we killed. Remember, he picked it up from one of those guys. Oh, that's right. Hippie mystic bug. No, did he get it from there or did he get it from the, the storeroom at um, the storeroom? The storeroom. Oh, good, right. Good point. It was the storeroom. So. Yeah. All right. Uh, Sivian misses. Um, sure does. Nala and I, Alicia, you are tied for who goes next. Uh, Nala can go. Go, Jeff. All right. We got to get back in these buggies and get out of here, no? No, we can kill these guys, and then we can use our suits, we can loot them, and then we can leave. And we got four days. Three days. I, I jump in the car. <laughs> You're already in the car. You never left. I oh, jump is, it, back in. is the yellow guy still alive? Yellow guy still alive. And the oh, pink, well, and the pink I'll guy say let, let us get him and attack him in our attack. All right. Natural one. Awesome. Is that good? <laughs> That's kind of bad. Use a Benny. <laughs> I use a Benny. Thirteen. Oh, oh so, so natural thirteen. That is a hit. Fourteen yeah. plus. Okay, and let's see if I can get above a two. Okay. Three. Four in your face. Five damage. Yeah. <laughs> oh, five damage. Oh, he is staggered bad. That the shot goes through his shoulder, leaving his left arm useless. Uh, I, at least you are up. Um, I'm gonna shoot the orange guy with my energy ray. Okay. Is Which there a is... to it? What? What's your What's your role on that? Don't miss. I'm right in front of. Lots of spells. Oh, is it? How close am I? One, two, three. You're like uh, twenty-five feet. Perfect, because it's the range. Um, really want we can measure? No, that's fine. That's fine. You said 25. <laughs> 25, so we don't have to measure. Oh, it's 20. Even better. Um, I'm going to choose to deal some acid damage because that looks like fun. All right. Oh, I'm going to roll 1d3. It's automatic hit? Mm, I guess so. No, I don't think so. It doesn't say anything. 
What spell was it? Energy Ray. It's a cantrip. Technomancer. I think it's 1d3, right? Yeah, that's... Uh, um, I said 1d3. That's a... Joel, Joel, if there's, if there's uh, it's a hit roll. No. Oh. You must make a ranged attack against its EAC. Oh. On a hit, it does 1d3 energy. So you have to roll. It's EAC. 16. 16 is a hit against the EAC. <laughs> Two. And the orange guy goes down for the count. Ooh. Acid oh. eating through oh, his flesh. Oh, wait, I did. Energy acidus. <laughs> Bellius. <laughs> I don't know. I wanted to wave my wand, though. Sorry, was that a Harry Potter spell you just cast? <laughs> <laughs> I think you are yeah. mixing your genres. <laughs> <laughs> we are now playing a Harry Potter RPG right now, guys. It is a Harry Potter wand, so... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I at least you went. Trigger, you are up. Yellow on his last legs. Um, pink unharmed. You're on mute again, Mikey. You realize you split the party, right? Not really. Uh, natural 19. Nice. Is it hit? And... Three points of damage. Against pink? Against, against yellow? This happens like against yellow, Josh. Yellow? You like you're, 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 you're take off half his face, killing him instantly. Oh, yeah. Excellent. He didn't need the other half anyway. He was ugly to begin with. You didn't really make him any worse. Ghost, you are. Now he gets a little bit of pity with the ladies. It's you, little, you are on the hood of the buggy. There's one guy and you. Uh, Ghost looks at the pink, and his hand goes to the button that puts up the face shield, but then his hand pauses for a moment. Why? Why does he not protect himself from the pink mist? Ghost Chica. breathes in air. You think he's going to make some sort of sharp barb. Oh, he's going to hurt this man's self esteem. It's going to be terrible. He's going to cry himself to sleep. Make a will make a reflex save, Josh. Oh. Oof, my natural. I rolled a natural three. I want to roll it on screen so you guys see it. More. Um. Because you want plus one it. reflex is a natural. Four. That will not be enough. Uh, you take seven points of electricity damage as electrical sparks emit from the ghost's mouth, electrocuting the guy for seven points of damage. I forgot about that. And then he Did reaches up. And he touches the little button, and his face shield goes. <laughs> then he says, "I bet you did not think that was going to happen." Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. That's his turn. All right. Um, all right. Pink strikes Ghost's back. Turn is breathing. Stri Pink strikes right back at you with his his sword. For a natural 26. Oh, 19. So Ooh. close. So close. That's a hit. All right. Oh, punctuate. Five points of damage. I am down to seven stamina left out of 21. All right. Green will advance over one spot. Uh, he will attack Sivian, who just killed his friend. Oh, no, I didn't. I did. Well, at least, at least, and I make sure he knows that. I didn't, I, it wasn't me because I rolled crap. <laughs> I tried. It was, I tried. It's a team I, effort. 18 against your uh, KAC? 13. That's a hit. Right, is it hit? Seven damage, Chris. All right. Have you used up your stamina yet? Are you out of stamina, Chris? You have the hit points? No, no, no. I have 12. Because right. I, uh, I, I uh, that point is last time brought it back up to 27 and then okay. dropped it. And, uh, yep, go ahead. Okay, Ozzy's up. Uh, Ozzy will do a full attack. Mm. Uh, so two attacks, uh, each with a minus four. Both. Uh, yeah. Adam, yeah. if you were to move through the vehicle, you would get flanking with Sivian. 
but then I can't do a full attack. Okay. Yeah. So oh, yeah, I will I will I will crawl into the, I will crawl into the back seat and uh No, do the full attack, man. Arm. If you hit two good runs, you could kill him. Yeah, I'm also at a minus four. Uh, <laughs> or plus two for flanking. But his EAC sucks. But if his, I move, uh, I can't do a full attack. But his KAC is like thirteen or something. Even with your minus four, I bet you could hit you could hit. Oh. <laughs> Up to you. I, I, I'll, I'll do I'll do the full attack and we'll see how poorly this turns yeah. out. So I can't move. Because it takes my move action as well. This is my entire round. I love okay. it. So I'm going to roll twice, and we got to subtract four from each hit. Uh, and before I do that, though... This is a gamble. <sighs> That's for two attacks. Give me some backups there. Thank nice. You. That ain't going to hit. Do you want oh, dice? Oh, oh, dear. Oh, Second. okay. So the 21 versus AC? That is... Uh, 20 KAC? 21 versus where do you get 21 i see 9 and 25 oh my, with your minuses okay minuses. Yeah, 21 is a hit okay so I, I hit him for 10 damage so adam it was totally worth it because if you only got one attack you would have been stuck with your nine that's true or maybe it would have been an 11 i don't maybe an 11 would have hit it was a natural one so it wasn't gonna oh no it was a natural two sorry all right i'm gonna assume everybody has activated their that's pink and I, and I flip my visor down Good choice. The pinkness descends upon everybody. Um, obscuring vision. It is a minus two to hit. I'm sorry to be a jerk about that. Jules. Um, I couldn't hit up two. Uh, but all right, Sivian, you're up. Mm. All right. Are you, are you going to melee attack? Yep. Then you're going to move here to see a flanking with Adam. Of course. Is that two on top of the... Uh... Yep. Plus two, it countered by the minus two of the pink mist, so you are rolling even odds. No. Do you have any bonus to that hit? I got nothing. <laughs> you got nothing. All right. You hit the crossbar of the uh, vehicle, not taking into account that you're, he's still in the roll cage somewhat, and the sword arm chatters down your arm like when you hit the baseball wrong with the wooden bat when you were a kid. Uh, Nala, you are up. That is never. I'm up again? You're up again. Who do we have left? The uh, orange one closest to me there? Pinky. You're pink closest to me. Yeah, pinky and me? Mm -hmm. Hey, I fired good last time with my Benny. I'll fire this time. <laughs> Natural 18. All right. Oh, Natural hey. 18 is going to be hit. Two damage. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. I thought you were on a D8. <laughs> Look, I rolled well on my D20, okay? Let's... Oh, I'm sorry. No, I didn't want to do that. I'm sorry. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to uh, uh, heal somebody. Sorry, okay. sorry, sorry. That's fine. Can't you heal and fire? No, that, the, the uh, heal is my... Uh, inspiring words is standard. Uh, inspiring boost is a standard action. Oh, I didn't realize. Somebody has to be within 30 feet, so I don't know if I can... So I guess it has to be... Uh, Trigger or Ghost? Which one got hit bad? Uh, ghost is down to 7 stamina. He wouldn't say no. He's at 30 feet. Can you guys see that? Yes. Okay. Because the other, the other person is Sivian, but he's... So who gets it? Ghost. He's the only one who can't get it. Ghost, you get 10 stamina points back. Oh, from 7 oh, Come on, give, 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 give me something. You have to do the inspiring part. Give me some, some inspiration. What? That was inspiring? What are you talking about? <laughs> Where? Get up, little one, and take that one out over there. Get him. Get him. That's my nice. move action. Ghost shakes his head. And suddenly, he yeah. seems to puff up a little bit, seemingly inspired, yeah. boosted by this these words of his captain. <laughs> Call that guy, right. Deed. Who's next? Alicia. Hi, Alicia. Oh, um, the green guy's still alive. Yeah, because I can kill him. Oh, okay. I did as much damage at night as I've done in the past year. Ozzy put a world of hurt on him, but not enough. Okay, I'm going to shoot at him again with my azimuth laser pistol. Did you push your DT? Okay. 15 minus 2 for the mist. Uh, but you... Okay, is he? Casey is 14. Do you have a plus one range? 
Do you have any kind of attack bonus? Oh, my base attack bonus. And that's it. Four. Wow. Is he dead? No. <laughs> <laughs> Your laser blast shoots through his arm, leaving him severely sore. Uh, and that already went through. You're up. Uh, I guess I gotta shoot the purple guy that's in the other vehicle with Ghost. Yeah, the pink guy. Pink guy, sorry, pink guy. Don't forget, minus two for the pink mist that's surrounding you. I'm gonna give him pink eye is what I'm gonna get him. Oh, you do that. Uh, Did you know what causes pink eye? What causes makes pink eye? Poop. Poop causes pink eye. 16, you said minus two? Yes. 14. 14 is just a hit. Nice. Take him out, man. Oh, you have get him too. Right, Jeff? Yep, plus one. So you got there easy. Uh, eight points of damage. Yes. What are you shooting at him, Mike? Pink guy. My, my laser rifle. Okay, so you're, t you're keeping track of that ammo, right? Yep, that's my third round fired. Okay. All right, he is um, hurt bad, but he is not down. Oh. Being cultists, they are not smart enough to surrender. Well, Ghost, you're up. If you're a cultist of the Devourer, it seems like you would just keep going until the very end. Devourer, come for me and all of them! Uh, what, yeah, but what did the last one that we just met who was poisoned say? <laughs> Terrible she was clearly not cut out to be a cult of the Devourer member, <laughs> but you guys didn't want to hear her story, so. I did. Uh, CR is equal to one or less for this person. Uh huh. Perfect. Then uh, sneak attack works. And uh, ooh, it's gonna be tight. Twelve against KAC. Oh wait, uh, plus one for get him. So yep. thirteen. But then minus... there's no negative for, for melee attacks because you're right in the face. Oh. Okay. Only the rain. The the KAC is fourteen though. Uh, and then I get a uh, plus two for him being flat-footed due to the trick attack. So, 14 total. For hit. And that's max damage, 12 points, kinetic. You jam your your survival knife into places that make it so he's not going to get up again. Devour this! <laughs> there you go. Could have devoured that. Oops, wrong button. That's it for his turn. He's down. Uh, Ghost is gone. The one uh, opposite, he takes a swipe at Ozzy again. It swings right just like Chris did. Takes his... Makes absolutely no chance of hitting Ozzy. Who laughs at him? Ozzy, you're up. I was just going to do the old one-two again. Uh, if you hit him, he will not get up. <laughs> well, I'm going to take two two shots at him. Yeah. And it's uh, minus four, but I get plus two for flanking, right? Yep. Oh, hey. All right, so we got a 17 oh and a 26. Natural 20. Both for 13 damage. Oh, that's a crit, so it'd be that's a lot of damage. Although I don't think that second one actually had even had a chance to hit him. He was probably falling before it. Would you like to describe what happened to him, or should we just let him be dead? Uh, yeah, there there was flaying involved. It's going to kind of grizzle. <laughs> <laughs> we just let it go with that. The pink mist turns red mist. About 20 minutes later, the pink mist um, begins to subside, giving you the ability to uh, search the bodies if you want. Oh, yeah. We're searching the bodies. And then we're searching the Humvees to see if there's stuff in the Humvees. All right. So there are six of these guys. So everything has... All right. Mm -hmm. Lashunta Ringwear 1. <gasps> wow. Defiant Longsword. Utility Scattergun with 25 Scattergun shells. Really fired. More scatter guns uh, shells for you, Mikey. He's got a giant bag of those now. Uh, field rations and 
Credit sticks with 150 credits each. Since there are six of you, you should each gain 150 credits. Whoa. Real convenient that there were six of you. That was just dumb luck. Now, what about the uh, Humvees? Can they still be ridden? Uh, they weren't damaged. Perfect. Are there any, nothing in the glove compartments or anything like that? Um, the insurance paperwork registration are both forged. You still are wondering how he managed to arrange to get these delivered to Eucalyp since they are completely illegal there. Hmm. Um, they don't have personal comm units, anything like that? No. They don't carry uh, maps of their destination or how to get there? No, it's it, they, they... They had a map, but I don't know if it's still uh, legible in their stomachs. You didn't. You didn't listen to um, what, uh, how we had to say, so you don't know where they know. That's fine. <laughs> That's not a problem. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Let's take one less person to kill us. We'll figure it out. We've got a lot of very smart people in our party. <laughs> and plus, ghost. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you are funny. I will let you leave. I kill you last. I kill you last. <laughs> you are Sully. I will kill you last. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, uh, guys, I don't know if you've been to the Jim Butcher webpage, but they did a uh, remake of the trailer for the book on April Fool's Day, and they've edited in uh, hats for Butcher for uh, Dresden. Oh, I saw oh that's hysterical. <laughs> and I won't say more than that. Yeah, the trailer didn't do much for me. It was too hard to keep track of who was doing and figuring all that. I really didn't care that much. I knew which one was Harry. I just want to read the books. All right. Um, the path continues on ahead. Uh, I assume you go back into the vehicles you were in, unless you want to take more of them, but there really isn't a need. Oh, we're taking more. We're, we're taking more all vehicles. of them. That's a need. Everybody gets a hug. You get a car. And you get a car. Um, I'm picturing an A-team. A-team later on. <laughs> um, you you do need to have a piloting skill to control. Does there are there four pilots? I have piloting. Okay. We have one one more pilot. I got a. Pilot I think I have three. piloting at plus two. I have three. I think I have a slightly better piloting. I can. I'm happy to take the other one. Oh, is is that a skill? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, the operative can do that better than anybody else. <laughs> yeah, got here somewhere. Autobots, somewhere let us roll out. <laughs> nice. You know, Bob, if you would use the chip, I might. Oh, you did use it, Benny. I might have. I might have to consider giving you one. Autobots roll out. <laughs> oh, the, the I am the captain now. Was it? I thought the I am the captain now for sure might get me something, but no. <laughs> Actually, I should make it a little harder to get them since you guys use them so rarely. I love making references well, we to use get them rarely because they're so hard to get. get. Listen, nobody got nobody was better than more spores, spores, molds, and fungus than I was. Mm. Funny how the guy who gives out the bennies is the one who says that. And I didn't even give myself one. I right. argued with you. <laughs> you guys uh, head out. You follow the uh, the path. It's uh, the rest of the day. Are we supposed to see a blank screen? Yes. You set up for the night. The night passes uneventfully. Um, another day goes by. Oh, how did you just divide up the uh, the items that Bob um, listed over here on the right? Did anybody want Lushun to ringwear one, or or a long sword, or a scatter gun? I think we took it all. I don't know if we we're not going to try on the armor in the middle of the pink mist. We're going to wait probably. Well, I mean, it's no. heavy armor, you, though, right? You, you it's, drove long. It's night heavy set. Armor. You know, the only person yeah, who can use it is Ozzy. And I have listened to Ringwear too right now. Yeah. But uh, so it's just it's saleable. However, I will say Lushun to Ringwear one costs four hundred and fifteen credits, so we're looking at forty one credits per armor. I can't find the sword, but I'm... it might just be a long sword. All right. Oh, I was going to ask, does Defiant Longsword mean it has the fusion, Defiance, which makes it hard to disarm? That would make more sense. Probably. Because we can transfer those fusions to other people's weapons. Uh, I think Ghost knows how to do that. You, you, if you don't have a magic power on your weapon, 
we can spend a few minutes next time we rest and transfer them all over so your weapons are much harder to disarm. Because that's happened so often. <laughs> With those, those who already have a, a uh, what do you call it on their weapons can't have more than one, can they, Bob? No, they can't. So I think um, uh, I at least he has one. You have one. I do. I have disruption. We found a fusion that uh, hurts undead in the space station, so I I've got it right now. I think, some, I think somebody else has one that hides it, too. I thought you That's had that mine. one. I have the Glamour. I think I thought Bob had the Glamour on a different one. I did. I took another. I took a Glamour and put it on uh, the hiding one on another pistol. I'm going to switch my dueling sword for the long sword because the long is 1d8. You got it. What's your dueling sword do? 1d6. Oh, that's an upgrade. He still has to hit with it, Bob. Yeah, I'm not hit with it exactly. Do we have to be trained, or does that take? Is that considered uh, the small arms that we get at level three? For the long sword? Yeah. Adam, I think they have to get trained in that. No. I don't all. remember. I'll look it up. Yes, right. you need to be trained in it, and if you don't want to take the penalties, I forget what kind of weapon it is. It might be an advanced melee. So, all right. Um. You guys spend the night, you get your rest, you set up your watches, nothing eventful happens. I cannot spread the day out since you derailed my encounter, so that's fine. Um, did anybody want to take an RP? What do you mean we derailed your encounter? We did the killing thing. <laughs> yeah, but you, got, you, you, you derailed the driving part. Uh, did anybody want to take an RP to rest up? Are we, are we bedding down for the night? Yeah, you, you travel for the rest of the day, night set up. Um, you have the opportunity for a rest. Well, if we're going to go to... If we're going to take a rest for the night, then don't we get our roll, our points back? You don't get your points back in the jungle? because. Um, oh, yes. Because reasons. Because reasons. It's super hot and humid. You can't get a... A, long, a long sword is an advanced melee weapon. So you Sorry. must be trained in it to be able to use it effectively. Then I go back to my curve. And that's different than the training that we automatically get at third level. Yes. Uh, the training okay. you get at third level only applies to... The weapons. small arms, right? No, no. It applies to any weapon that you are already proficient in. So if you're proficient in small arms in basic melee, then you get that damage bonus applied to both. Does that make sense, Jeff? No. I thought, I thought it was one of those, like... You get so here's what small you arm. Not quite. At third level, every character suddenly gets a damage boost to all weapons they're already okay. proficient in. Uh, the difference is... It, d it doesn't change what you're proficient in. It just adds, yeah, adds damage. damage. Okay. And the right, I think that's worth noting is the damage is one for every level you have. So usually right now a plus three. The exception yeah. is small arms. It's half your level. Okay. Just don't forget to add those three points for anything but small arms, and don't forget to add plus one to your damage for small arms. All right, you you bed down for the night. You get a, an early start in the morning, and you follow the trail that uh, what's his name is that uh, Tahoman has left. Oh, you know what to... I did? Wait, do you know what I did? I put my hands. Who, by the way, you're breaking up, buddy. Say again. You put oh. your hands where? Turd. Yeah. Who's hey. turd? Wait, you put your hands in somebody's turd? Yeah. Turd. Who? Who? Camera that needs to be. Are you asking who is injured that needs to be? Yes. Healed. Yes. Uh, yes. You can heal hit points. Does anybody need hit points healed? I'm down stamina. I'm down four points of stamina, but I no hit points. hit points. All right, and then go ahead. Useless character. <laughs> All right, so you make it through the night. It's uh, uneventful. Good. You survived the pink mist. You uh, head out next morning. You travel. You're able to follow the path that Tom and his blazed. It's pretty clear since it's vehicles. Mm -hmm. uh, you get to a an area overlooking 
this. Oh. Whoa. That's a giant statue. Ooh. Hey, hey, do hey, do you see that in the distance there? What's she wearing? It looks like a toga. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you know, for a for a statue, she's pretty hot, no? <laughs> she's enormous, obviously. So. I am embarrassed to be associated with. What is the scale? Are those little people standing in front, like outlines, like by the tree? Uh, well, there's a tree there that's not, this that's sufficiently to, large. To the left of the tree, are those? Is that a band of people that I'm looking at? Two people. Standing? I don't think so. It's a sleeping oh. giant. Is anybody else seeing that? Like, does that yeah. look like three? I see what you're seeing, Bob. Mm. Um, here, hold on. It a is. It's two people. It's a person so half and a little person. Okay. It Small about, people. It is about eighty to ninety feet long. Wow. Title of yours. So, <laughs> hey guys, I, I I'm gonna I try not to do this, but I have to go off topic from this weekend. I forget what we were watching, but there was a gelatinous cube. Well, onward. We were onward. We were watching onward. the new Disney movie, and there was a gelatinous cube that came down and started enveloping people. Really? And all really? I could think of was Jeff. <laughs> I'll touch it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So you're able to see that um, your your vehicles will not let you get close enough. There's uh, Great, the, the, the forest just becomes too dense. The um. You can see the mountains in the background there where you're, you're headed. There's clearly um, the terrain is getting tougher and tougher. Except for obviously where that is, there's a semi that was at one point some sort of village or or something where you can see there's finished stonework. This all over time is starting to separate, but you cannot get the buggies down there any further. What do the notes say about this statue in this this village area? Do the notes tell us anything about this location? The notes do recognize the statue. Um, there's two different interpretations. One is you don't believe it's got to do with a stat the statue representing some um, um, plague victim or something lying down. That's and there's another one where you think it is some sort of observer looking toward the stars kind of thing. Um, <laughs> Professor Solstar had not determined what it was. We, we can't see any um, tracks from here, right? We're too far, or? Correct. Um, it, I mean, there. Oh, you know what? You're right. There are several other buggies here. The Foytahomet and his guys who had to progress on foot as well. Hmm. Uh, search the buggy. Uh, search for traps before, in case they booby trapped it. But then search the buggy. You give me your uh, whatever the appropriate check is for that. I think booby trap. Search, search for traps. I don't think we have a booby trap skill. Well, yeah, uh, we do. Although trigger would be probably a little bit better. Engineering. Engineering. Oh, I have that. Uh, it doesn't matter. For physical traps. And then for magical traps, mysticism. I have the detect magic spell. There you go. Detect magic. As a cantrip. Sure. Do I have to roll for that? I'm rolling for mysticism right now. Okay, roll this. I assume it's perception or. or... My mysticism the 31. Chris's Chris natural 20 on mysticism check is not going to. Um, you, <laughs> you can see that uh, Tahum and Disabled Boy behind. He took the, um, some of the wires to connect the power cells to the uh, engine. So none of them are operational without him. Otherwise, there's no trap. And just anything wait in the twenty. Are their vehicles no. empty? The license registrate? No. <laughs> uh, okay, let's go. And, yeah. and you'll note, none of them are nearly as scuffed up as the one I at least he was driving. Mm. <laughs> Trigger. Oh, he's not there at the computer. Is there a, a possibility? These things have power cells. Can we use them to recharge our weapons? Incompatible. They're, they're, they're not compatible. They're oh, okay. giant, different kinds of things. It's like I wish we had a goblin here right now to... <laughs> MacGyver, this thing. <laughs> they could totally do it. They could. So it's sort of like the. We Apple should have bought them. Wire. And the rest of us okay. are doing U use that USB C's. Got it. 
Uh, right, so you guys... What is this statue? Can can I go up to it and check it out? Oh, it's far. It's far. Oh, we're not parked up next to it. We're like in the jungle way before it. Yes. Okay. In fact, I will show you. Oh, you will, a, you will put yourself in the bottom right. You've provided us with. You were in the bottom right. The the statue actually has content. Is actually silent. And that off from you. That's why it looks weird. Sorry. No, you're the bottom right of the map. That you kind of broke up. You did move off from us. If if you're in the bottom, you're in the bottom right of the map. Okay. Right. The statue itself is in the center of the map, but I've blacked out the middle of it. I fogged the floor because there is a map inside. Okay. Got it. Got it. It's not thrilling, but I didn't want to just give it all away for you. No, that's well, you just did. Perfect sense. Sit that by telling us. I hey, searched Jeff, the statue for hidden entrances. <laughs> uh, so let's go check out the statue. Wait, wait. Do you think? Do you think they are nearby? Do you think they are watching us now? Hello. Oh, maybe they left. Uh... The uh, watch behind? Tahoman! Dr. Stone started! <laughs> Let me sneak ahead. Let us see if we can see anything. Is there any response to Lisey's yelling? No. Oh, you really I, I do like the, uh, the, dico the dichotomy of Hello, is anybody there? And then, let me sneak. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> let me sneak. Never mind. <laughs> Hold on a second, I put you guys in the wrong layer. Oh, I hate when that happens. I hate it when that happens. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hey, where are you going? Do you? Alrighty, uh, get back to that there. You came down like this group. I anticipated you arriving slightly differently. Need to measure something. Hold on a second. All right from others. All right. Um, all right. So you arrive down at the we'll call it the valley floor. Um, you can see there's a the, the you're in the bottom right. There's um, rough terrain between you and the statue. I should say it, it is rough, but it's not difficult terrain, so you can. It just looks, you know, it's 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 the uneven kind of thing, uh, roots growing up, that kind of stuff, pushing um, flagstones up, but it's not impossible to traverse. Okay, I'm going to get closer to a statue. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me sneak I'm, ahead. I'm look at it. All right, go get shot. Go get in a <laughs> trap. Go get eaten by vultures. I don't know. All right, Lisa, do you go ahead without everybody? Yes. She wants. Do you go there? I at least he gets to there. Can I hide behind this this block thing? Really? I can't see what Jules, I can't see what you point. Can I make a circle? I think if you hold down the alternate control key um, there you go. Can I hide behind that? You wanna go there? Yes. Okay, when you get to and here I'm... when you get to here oh. a shot ring Of course it does. Uh, it's it, it's just trying to mess with you. No. <laughs> no, it hits, it hits the ground of your feet as a miss. Oh, good. Um, everybody roll for initiative. Mm. Sorry, guys. What I don't like is you guys can see who's in. So when I add somebody, you know who's there. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, I I think uh, the only way to around that is just to keep a track on your like a piece of paper or something, and then add it in when we see them. That's kind of a tough one. Yeah, I'm just gonna add the sniper now. What? The sniper. Trigger, what'd you roll for your init, man? Twenty-five, bud. Oh, oh, oh nice. Nala? That's it. Nala, what about you? I, ro I rolled a six because I rolled a one. 
<laughs> Plus five is a six. <laughs> Thirteen. Thirteen. Good thing I have improved initiative. <laughs> <laughs> well, you get to go before me because I rolled the four. Hey. Oh, My bonus is a two. So you're. St oh, I see. Yep. Oh. Speaking is a free action, right? Like, we don't need to... You are correct. Okay. Alright. Actually, that actually works pretty good for initiative. Guys, that's... Uh, could we so I at least... Where the shot was coming from. Um, give me a perception check. On our turn. Okay. Uh, it is. You can give me a perception check now as part of Oh, all right. I at least you can give me that. Everybody can do that. 17. 12. Jesus Christmas, dude. 25. So, oh, 19. 27. Natural. So, for the record... The person taking the shot has a plus 13. I rolled a 16. They okay, but are, that doesn't mean... That means that we can't see them. That doesn't mean we can't necessarily determine where a shot came from. Correct. I'm looking... I'm reading that part right now. All right, so you're unable to determine where she is. Um, Aha! We know it's a she. <laughs> oh, away. that narrows it down. As, as, you, as best you can determine, it came near the head of the obelisk. I mean, at the head of the statue. And where are we supposed to be? I don't see us on the map. In the you bottom zoom right way corner. out, Mike. Bottom right of the oh, big map. Way, way out. Okay. Okay. If you've successfully used stealth to hide from a creature that's at least 10 feet away, you can briefly pop out a cover or concealment, make a single ranged attack against that creature. As long as you can re-enter cover or concealment, you can attempt a stealth check to hide again as part of that attack with a minus 20 penalty. They don't see the sniper. Wow. What do you think it came from the head of the statue? Trigger, you're up. Uh, Trigger attempts to, as loudly as he can, Say, whoa, we don't want any... We'll, we're here to make a trade. You can have this young, very attractive Lashunta girl, and we just want the doctor. <laughs> he thinks I'm attractive! <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm trying to sell you to them. <laughs> That's your free action. Do you wish to move? Uh, yes, I wish to move behind Ayalisi. <laughs> um, no, I'm actually not kidding. You can certainly go here. That's that's undercover. That's full cover. Okay, then that's that's good. I mean, if she was full cover, that was fine too. But there's okay. She's only partial. Okay, then then she's well. See, so yeah, that then I'll stay where you move me. All right, ghost, you're up. <laughs> uh, let's see. I think ghost is gonna run. He's got a uh, quick movement as an operative, which sets his normal speed 30 to 40. And he still hasn't got rid of jet dash. So when you run, it's six times your run speed. So six times 40 is 240 feet. So... Um, this is so ridiculous. <laughs> he, he's going to get right underneath the statue where he might be harder to hit. If, if, like, okay. There's a, like, that looks like they're, her elbow is out there or something, or... Sure. Somewhere around there. All right, so you, you, you move like the Flash. <laughs> like, like a ghost? You moved it that fast, dude. That was amazing. That's a run action, though. There's nothing else I can do. I'm not hiding. I'm out in the open. All right. Unless I have maneuvered myself with cover.
like so underneath the head that I can't be seen or something like that. Like it's uh, I'll, I'll give you cover there. But I'm not going to say yeah, I'm going to give you um, I'll give you plus four for cover there. Okay. You are a kind and generous DM. All right, I, understand, I understand what you're going for. Where you could find a nook of granite to hide it. So. Um, do I see an entrance to the uh, statue here? You do not. Oh, I've chosen poorly. Okay. You do not. Um, I'm going to have to run around it next turn. <laughs> All right. Next up is. Oh, I got to make another initiative check here. Another wow. Uh, Night. Josh, is there any significance to the difference in the coloration on the map between the dark green and the the color? Uh, uh, the, the part in the dark green is um, actually, you know, there is a, a read and read here. Uh, the trees thin ahead form centered on an immense stone statue of a reclining elf whose skin bears dozens of raised markings like painful welts. The figure rests on, rests on one partially buried elbow while extending his other hand toward the sky. The elf's simple robe and hair are both sculpted of heavily weathered metal that can be corroded entirely in places, um, that has corroded entirely in places. Numerous building, crumbling outbuildings ring the clearing, where only mosses and a few stubborn stuff trees grow. Hey, and then Bob, as I, as you explore... I'm totally interrupting you, Josh, because uh, uh, when you said you run, you move six times your speed, and that's your full action. Correct. So what years, what's your speed? 40. What's four times six again? 24? 240. Mm -hmm. it's okay. 100, 120 feet to get there, based on the ruler. I, just, I thought I heard you say that you'd move twice. No. No. Okay. He so could, in theory... Because you can move as his move, move as his, as No, right. if you you're running, running is a full action. Exactly. Oh, okay. You run up to four times your speed, but if you're, yeah, jet dash lets you do six times your speed. That's right. So it's it's just a different kind of moss, my uh, uh, that's growing there. Okay. And per Mikey, uh, where he is hiding, uh, untold ages have reduced these buildings to walls and buried foundations, with only a few fragmented walls standing more than four feet in height. So is a Yosoki four feet in height is perfect for you guys. Um, <laughs> The more complete structures have trapped millennia of sediment and run off spongy floor of silt and moss. This is a really good paintball field, may I say. <laughs> <laughs> All right. One by one. Yeah, I don't think Tahoman is here to play. All right. Um, he wants to paint our blood, so that is kind of like a pet party. He wants to use our blood as paint. That is true. And I want to kick him in the balls, so it is close. <laughs> John, no. I'm not going to shoot you between the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mikey, you notice that um, as once you take your cover coming out of the woods near you, is a reptilian creature. You can look off to the right of the map a little bit. Like a mask? No. Dinosaurs. Uh, dinosaurs. It is a dinosaur type creature. Is it a Euro? It is something you have not seen before. Actually, um, uh, get in there. I change the order here. It moves in on its turn, so that it has that it its turn. Where is it? It's over to the right. Joshi? Yeah, Jeffrey. Do you think I can get rid of the vehicle chase actions that have been on my screen for the last half hour? Oh, there it is. Needlessly? Okay, sorry. My bad. I think that you can do that, Jeff, yes. <laughs> can I do a cultural life science check to see what it is? Yes. You can. You have line of sight to it. Um, either or. On 19. Yeah, 19. All right, uh, I at least you recognize as a um, I've never heard of those before, but they sound, <laughs> sound rough. He just had something in his throat there, didn't he? Hi, 
which is a uh, the large animal. Oh, it means I gotta make it four squares. Sorry. It looks smaller than okay. <laughs> he just went from like being one of those little tiny nuisance dinosaurs. You see yeah, him. the ones. That, yeah, <laughs> you can see him coated in the in the spores that you you spores that you encountered yesterday. Oh. Um. I'm gonna pop my helmet back up then, cause I don't no, know. it's just, it looks like it's intact. Just yeah, but can they jump to us? No, it runs the spores. It, it... No, it does not look like the spores can jump. Oh, just to clarify, he doesn't look like he's emitting the spores. It looks like he's like run into something and gotten hit himself with a bunch of spores. Right? Is that the interpretation there? So we should give him the antitoxin. The spores are kind of covering him. Some have blown <laughs> off. You can, see, you can see pink, like in the um, in his his joints and such, where it would it would have been trapped, where his running would have brushed and and, the, and everything else would have brushed the rest of it off. Yes, let us use the antitoxin. I like animals. <laughs> <laughs> These are guys. Aren't we all animals? We have to save him. We have to save him. <laughs> Can't do it. Sorry. I'm I'm an insect. All right, so he came in. Um, Wait, bipedals? Uh, bipedals with tails. Bipedals with short arms and sharp teeth. Um, Sivian, you're up. <laughs> All right. Well, I don't want to go over there, so I go. Oh, man. I don't know how far I'm going to go, but maybe here. You can move yourself. Beat he six. Did. Okay. How far did you go? I know it. Five, 15, 20, I don't know. Are they five feet? 40. 40? 30. What's your move, 30? Yes, I'll put my there. 35. How high is that wall that's behind? <laughs> I'll hide in there. Somebody? Trigger? Trigger, trigger's wall is about four feet high, four feet. so you can get there and get covered. But the, the lizard is, is close by. What are you doing, Jeff? Oh, I, I'm, I thought I was... Uh, it's whose turn? It is. It is. Sivian moved. He has a regular action. He hasn't taken it yet. You can shoot, uh -oh. shoot something, or you can just hunker down. Yeah, I'm going to hunker. Get my head low. So so no one has attacked this thing yet, right? Negative. Oh, we don't, we don't know if it's evil. It just might need help. It might be going mad with pain as little tiny spore creatures infect its body and begin to breed. I will say, get him! And then I'm going to go hide over here. <laughs> and I will, So that uh, my move is get him, and then for my standard action, I'll move. That makes sense. So if somebody does pull the trigger, they get a plus one. <laughs> <laughs> That's what a leader does right there, everybody. <laughs> Lead from behind a, a four-foot wall. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, uh, Sivian went, I only see you're up. Um, bedtime time. I'm gonna go with the magic missile, I think. On? The dinosaur. Okay, so I looked this up. There is no requirement for range or line of sight for magic missile. Really? The range is 110. Like oh, there is, I'm sorry, there's. But there is no, you, you don't actually have to you see the. You don't have to see it. In the podcast I listened to, they shot the guy in the in, in the head. The guy who was the sniper, they targeted the sniper with magic missile. Oh, then I'm going to do that. <laughs> you shouldn't tell me things like that. I'm I, gonna... Well, I'm, I'm trying to teach you how to... Now, the question is, do you have that range? That range is 90 feet. So, yes, you have that range. You have that range. Uh -huh. 
Are you moving? Yes. So make your move, uh, or do your shooting first, whichever one you're going to do first. One less missile. Here, I have two missiles instead of three. Okay. I'm going to move behind. You could move. There. Okay. Because I want to get closer to the statue. Did you not want to move behind the post entirely? I didn't you have, behind. To, you oh. have to know where okay, the sorry. location just... of the target is before you can target them. Right? Nope. <laughs> it doesn't read that way, Bob. That's why it's called magic. <laughs> so can I use magic missile for non-combat purposes? I can I can walk a beach and I can cast a magic missile spell to target a wedding ring lost in the sand or anything metal and then use magic missile to identify metal for me. Can I take an exam with multiple choice questions and use magic missile to identify the correct multiple choice answer to the question, one A, B, C, or D, and have it fire at the answer? No. She's she's shooting at something that shot her. She has an idea where it is, and the magic makes it hit. Can I set up a Ouija no. board <laughs> and then ask like no. the unsolved no. physics questions of the universe? You hit. And then just keep on firing the, until it forms the answer to the question. Okay. This is interesting. I like this application of magic missile. Uh, so now the worst thing you imagine is because there's still one more creature to show up. Oh, great. That swoops down from the air. Uh -huh. Oh, mm, I don't like that. It has. It, it, I roll. I uh, I roll this in it. It will. Uh, it has an edit of ten, so it shows up just after I least it goes. And this is a sky fisher, for those that care. Ooh. I hope it's not as bad as a cave fisher. Those things are awful. It uh, lashes out and lasso like appendage. At Ilesi. A natural 18 plus it's, yes, it grabs you in a, uh, tangles you for 11 damage. <laughs> and you are entangled. A gooey filament shoots out, targets your case, has a range of 50 feet. It bludgeons you, and you are entangled for one minute unless you fear. How high up is it? What, Jeff? How high up is it? Uh, it is. It is. It is a. It is a flying creature. Um, it is above. Uh, it is shootable, but it is not mainly attackable. Call it thirty feet up. Okay. It's my birthday, guys. It's going to be a TPK ten. Now you're up. Who's getting toilet paper? Total party kill TPK. To I'm going to fire well, at I think that. He would be a better birthday present for you, considering the current times. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say. I guess we need to save Alisi. And I fire at. I say, get that one. I guess we need. To. <laughs> That's true leadership, it's right there. Valued. All right. Uh, 14, 14. Against the Skyfisher? Yes. That's it a nice name. Is a miss. 14 is Everybody else gets a plus one who attacks the Skyfisher. Mm. Fisher. Skyfisher. It's fishing with its lassoes. Skyfisher. That's what I, th I thought I said that. Ozzy, you are up. Ozzy leaves. <laughs> I'm Trying to figure out what I can do. Uh, Bob, how do you get the how do you get the range? Uh, you the one above the eye, Adam. It's above the picture of the die. Does that help? Gotcha. Adam? Does that help? Yes. Fifty. It's like fifty feet to the sky uh, picture, and it's thirty feet to the mini dinosaur. I uh, I guess I'll move to the one that I can actually hit. 
and I say, I'll take care of this one. I gotta do it from back here. Oh, nice reach. Actually, can I do it from here? Trigger, check the roll 20. I can't even do it from here. There we go. All right, yeah, I'm going to do it from there, and I'm going to fight defensively against this guy. Okay. So this is at a minus four. Oh, I forgot to do my tack lash sound. Darn it. Oh. Whoa, nice roll on the two hit. That is still an impressive hit. That's a 22 to hit. 22 versus KAC. That is a hit. The right, uh, four. Of damage is an impressive hit. Killed it. No. <laughs> You're up. And, oh, and I will do a retroactive. <laughs> and, and I have a plus two to, uh, armor class. All right. Oh, wow. So that's like a 25 KAC right now. Yeah. The sniper can, you guys recognize the sniper? Any other recognize that? Actually, give me a because because of the way sniping works, they have to stealth for a turn and then snipe. So, so for them not to be targetable, they have to snipe. For, they have to take a turn off. Uh, also, Josh, another question is uh, if I I think he told us there is a Sheeran eye rifle that they took with them. That is what they're using. So that you recognize the sound because one of you has one. Yeah, I have it. I have it. Um, it takes a round to load. Like maybe that's what I'm thinking. I'm sorry. It takes a round to load. So yeah. They they cannot act. They only act every other round. Okay, because they're reloading. But if they want to be stealthy, that's a standard action to be stealthy as well. So if you you would have one action to load, one action to stealth, one action to shoot. I don't know. Right. Up to you. Yeah. Well, they have they have good cover up there right now, so it may just be reload. Sure. But anyway, you you know that at most they can attack every other. That makes sense. <clears throat> Trigger, you're up. Um, <clears throat> gosh, this little there's a square kind of popped up on the map, uh, straight ahead from where uh, Nala is. Is you that where is? I thought Ialisi was getting eaten by the little uh. Blue thing. Oh, it, are you talking? Are you talking about this? Oh, what did I just do? Uh, hold on a second. Are you talking about this? No, the one, the, the the bigger one. That one? Nope. The over to your left. That one, yes. Is that cover, or is that just a weird thing? On the it's map? a pillar. It's a cover. It's cover. That's a pillar. Can I? How many squares is that? Uh, 65 feet, 13 squares. Well, what would my run be on that? Um, Do you have a 30 movement? If it's a 30 uh, movement, then your run is four times. So it would be four times 30, 120 feet you could run. You could okay. Also, you could, but if you run, you will be flat-footed. So you'll have a minus two to your AC. Um... So another thing you could do is double move if you're at 30 feet. That might get you right at 60 feet. 30 plus 30 would get you right next to it right here. And that okay, way yeah. you're not flat-footed. Right. My whole plan, Bob, is to get up toward you. So um, let me, let's do that. I'm going to move. I'm going to double run, a double move. Gosh. All right. To get behind that cover. All right, go straight up. Uh, Trigger, do you want me to get the sniper or start saving Ailisi? No, get the sniper. Ailisi can fend for herself. Okay, Trigger. <laughs> Joel, Jules' face says otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> We're definitely violating our rules of focus fire right now. This is horrible. But I'm looking at the Trigger because he tells me what to do. So, there, there are so many. There are so many people back there to help her. We, we, need, we need to take this sniper out. Uh, he's gonna run. Uh, he gets 250 feet of running, so I think he can make it to the all the way around the circumference of the statue. 
uh, looking for an entrance as he runs. <laughs> yeah. And this, this statue, like I said, is only about 90 feet long. Get all the way. Only 90. Does he find uh, an entrance? Between the feet, there is a, uh, a tunnel, an entrance tunnel. Oh boy. Easy. He's going in. Uh, he's, <laughs> you guys are making this so much harder. <laughs> it's 90 feet, uh, roughly, to get there. Maybe call it 100, because he's got to go around a little bit. So he's still got 140 feet that he can run in his turn, and he's going to use all of them. Uh, well, hold on a sec. There's things that happen inside. So you you race into a uh, the first, you, first room you race into uh, corroded pipes hang down from the ceiling above a broad basin in the center of the the stone walls are slick with moisture and bear carvings of tattered elves tattooed elves in states of undress as they wash themselves the dome ceiling excuse me depicts hundreds of stars connected to form scores of constellations. Pretty. Are you racing through this room? I do not care about naked elves. I do not take a bath right now. I am running. He keeps on running through. So that's uh, 20 feet out of uh, 140 left. He's got 120 left to go. <laughs> Man, you guys are just splitting the party all over. All I, kinds of bad stuff. <laughs> I wouldn't do this except Trigger's telling me to do it. This is, I'm, I do what Trigger tells me to do. All right, you make it. Uh, let me see here. All right, what reveal? You run up some steps. Okay, so uh, I got 140 minus five feet on the steps. I'm down to 135. You, you know the, the steps are. I, I'm, I'm not going to count you. I'll represent more. You you make it into a hall of of stuff before you run into two cultists. What did you think was going to happen? Something like this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's the end of his... Uh, well, actually, uh, are they armed with uh, melee weapons? Yes, they are. Hmm. Do I run past? I still got a little more oomph in me. They're, 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 I, I haven't positioned them because of the way that... The, the, court, the, the room is only... Two squares wide, my grid just doesn't line up right because I'm roll twenty. Mm -hmm. You can't run past them. Oh, I, I can't. No, you can't. If, if you look at the picture on the map, don't look at the grid on roll twenty. Yep. Look at the map. Yeah. It's two squares wide, so it's ten. They each occupy a square. Oh, I see. They're like side by side, shoulder to shoulder. Yes. Can I do an acrobatics to slide beneath their legs? Uh, that would be your full turn. And if you fail, they're both gonna. They're both gonna. Get... Yeah, what the hell? I'm going under their legs. Trigger told me to get the stuff. All right, so they both get an attack of opportunity in DC for you to get through there. Twenty-two acrobatics. Yeah. You totally. Of course I did. <laughs> it's my job. I tried to be fair about it. Acrobatics tried to be... was a natural two, but I'm using a Benny. I'm re-rolling. All right, you have one Benny left. Mm -hmm. And another natural two. Oh. <laughs> so you are stopped there. You get Wait, two attacks I have opportunity one against Benny you. Left. I'm gonna use the Benny one more time. I'm gonna blow. No, up no, no, no. You just well, you just told me you were two in a row, and you had used one previously. That's all three you had. No, but then you gave him another one. Because he said something snarky. Wait, oh, I need to give him one more. You're right. But no, no. Even without that, I started the game with three. Right? So yes, you used one in the, in the first encounter with a, with a car. Agree. One you just three. failed for two in a row. That's three. No, no. Uh, the first was just the acrobatics, just to get past while I was running. You could use acrobatics without having use of any. Right? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. You're right. You're right. My bad. So I still am sitting on one. Uh, yes. And so I'll, I'll deplete my, my bennies. And <laughs> natural <laughs> See, six. I still failed. All right. <laughs> Kill me. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, 
two d twenties. Each of these are plus seven because the standard cultist with the long swords. So one is a twenty, and one is a fifteen against KAC. Okay, uh, the fifteen is a miss. I have a nineteen KAC. Um, oh, hang on, wait a minute. When attempting an acrobatics check to tumble through the space of an opponent. At least one size category larger than himself, a Yusoki gets a plus five racial bonus to the check. So my seventeen so plus five. Yeah. yeah but it's not a size difference, are they? You're, you're the same size. As a... No, I'm small. Yeah, they're medium. Small. Well, I'm assuming they're medium. Yes. So they're a size bigger. So my seventeen, my first seventeen would work. I'm through, baby. <laughs> two, baby, two. I get, I get two bennies back as well. I, next time when I have any Yusoki, power. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not making this up. I'm looking at the I'm not. Sheet. No, Bob, I'm not faulting you. <laughs> All right. You make it up. You, there's another set of stairs you make up uh, before you finally get to the head and the sniper. You call me back, Yeah. Stand up. All right. There you are. Okay. That's, I, I cannot do anything else. I'm done. All right. Oh, trigger. This... Hey, trigger. Yeah. I found a sniper. Okay. Oh, I will try. I might die. That, I will save you. I'll save you. I'm coming. <laughs> Listen, if you guys die, it is not my fault. <laughs> Look at what you've done to yourselves. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right, green, orange. All righty. Um, I did say they get attacks of opportunity for you. I'm oh, sorry, Bob? I couldn't hear you. I did say they get a attacks of opportunity for you running past them, though. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, first one missed, and the second yes. was a 20. I yes. have a 19 KAC, so I think that's going to hit unless I get bonuses to... Uh, Attacks of opportunity, but I haven't seen anything. Else. No, you're taking. Oh man, I am rolling eights all over the place tonight. You're taking twelve. Wow, max damage. Got it. All right, the uh, lizard creature turns on Adam, advances one step so it can attack. Uh, I get an attack of opportunity on that. Hold on, let me make sure it doesn't have a reach of two. No, it has no reach. It's got little alarms. I know, it's got little alarms. I can't. No. no. Here, right? Actually, I can, I, show you, I can show you what it looks like you got, Adam. Oh, yeah. Or did I, should I try to use standstill? KAC plus 8 to stop movement? <laughs> and then it can't attack me? Uh, okay, hold on a second. It's in my way. Reveal. So here is your... Lizard creature. Jules that on your screen. And here is the creature that has lassoed Eilis. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Jules' face just broke. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't need to see it bigger. Wow. It's a huge aberration. It's not good. All right. Uh, Ozzy is going to try to use his. Um, I just call it. What's it called? Uh. Trying to find it here, but it's oh, stand still. Uh, when it, something throws an accurate opportunity, I could try a melee attack at KAC plus eight to stop its movement. Okay. I don't know what its KAC is. Hopefully, it's not terribly high. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna choose. But uh, okay, go ahead. Choose to what? <laughs> I was gonna do something else because it has a special ability that I could have used. Oh, okay. Well, you can do that because this isn't gonna work anyway. <laughs> You make it stand still, so it can't move, right? Well, it, only if I hit. Which and, is uh, which is it's a, it's the, the the to hit is KAC plus eight, which I'm pretty sure thirteen is uh or eighteen is probably still not going to do it. it. Doesn't have a kinetic armor class of of ten, does it? No, mm -hmm. no, I'm not ten. Why are you saying ten? You have a bone. You have a negative about it. Yes, because oh. the, well, he has a plus eight to his KAC for this attack. Okay, then no, that is a miss. Right. Okay, so uh, it is going to swipe its massive tail at you. Ooh, 
Ooh. Eh, it's a hit. Uh, barely. Oh, wow. <laughs> 29. Ouch. It only hits by four. Why, wow, tough. Come on, press the right buttons, Josh. You can press arrow up and then hit end and then type slash. 14 damage, I'm 14 damage, alright. Wow. That, that brings me down to 10 stamina. Alright, the, five the stamina. sniper <laughs> um, sees ghost coming up and races up the um before you get it, before you ah you I put you in a position where I you automatically get an attack opportunity but I should have put you there. That's all right. They will attack. Um I got how many freaking cheese can I have open at once here. Mm. Um they will pull out their tactical dueling sword. I assume they drop attack. they drop their uh, sniper rifle. They saw you coming. So yes. Mm -hmm. Well, if he saw him coming, maybe he had a chance to properly stow it away and didn't have to drop it on the ground. There you go. Be 20 plus 8. Wait, I do want to know, was I because I did that in a turn in 6 seconds, did he drop it to the ground or did he stow it? Um, I guess he dropped it. Logic tells me he had to drop it. Alright, so 12 against KAC. 20 against KAC, I mean? Uh, 20 is a hit. Come on. Do you guys want me to get rid of the 3D dice? Or you like seeing I like them. I don't think okay. I see it on my screen. I don't see them. Okay, then I'll get rid of it. Maybe maybe they only show to people who also have them on, because I have them on for when I roll. Oh, that's a possibility. I it just, I think it's slowing me down by having to drag the mouse every time. Josh, I, I don't have it on and I see it. Oh, all right, it's wrong. Eight damage, Bob. And I have no stamina left, and I am down to 17 hit points. <laughs> this is going to be bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, Sylvan, you're up. Sivian. So, right, I am going to spend... I have no idea how to do it, but I'm going to do it, and I'm going to send it towards the flow creature. Uh, you're going to do what? We couldn't hear you. Summon a fire elemental. Summon a fire elemental. Ooh. Yeah. I don't know what it does, how to do it, it's done. Period. Boom. <laughs> is that a spell? Yeah, I have a idea. What's the name yes, of the spell? <laughs> Summon an elemental. Summon creature? Yeah, there. Okay. Uh, duration, one round per level. So it's going to last uh, three three rounds. You can have it appear up to 130 <coughs> feet from wherever you're standing. And there's no saving throw. It just appears. It summons an extra planar creature, typically an elemental, magical beast, something from another planar outsider. The summon creature appears where you designate. It acts immediately on your turn. It attacks your opponents to the best of its ability. If you can communicate with it, you can give it orders. Um, and then, let's see. There's What's, a, wait, what level is this? It's a level one spell, summon creature. It can rank <laughs> up, though. You can turn it to level two, three, four. I, can't, I don't see it in the book, under Mystic Spell List. Uh... Here is the link. I'll throw it into chat. This is where I'm looking at it. It's con it's duration summing. Is it not part is it not in the original rule book? Is it part of the add-ons? So I'm checking. Or I could just shoot it. No, I like this much better. Yeah, this you know. this adds more mayhem and confusion to uh, everything. <laughs> and uh, is it a tiny, medium, or large one, Bob? Uh, it's 
looks like it is a small creature. It has 20, 20 hit points. It has plus two initiative, dark vision 60, it's immune to fire, a KAC of 13, an EAC of 12. Uh, it does uh, a slam damage, 1d6 plus 5, with a plus 9 to hit. All right, yeah, I don't. It's not in the core rules. I'll let you have it now, but we'll have to go back and re revisit this afterwards. Okay, so where are you casting it? Uh, right, the big blue guy. Uh, uh, I need to uh, roll. Yeah, you have to... There? Yeah. If you Perfect. wanted to attack, it can attack right now. It's not going to. You're not going to have it attack? No, no, no. I rolled a 13. It's probably not. It's a plus 9 to hit. Is it? Mm -hmm. Plus 9. Plus nine. Alright, so it's plus 9. So, uh... Need... One, five. Alright, so imagine that hit me. Uh, that is not gonna hit anything. Nope. Alright. So Do you have a bonus for the hit? It did, it have a plus nine bonus, so you had a twenty one roll on your on your thirteen, Chris. Yeah, yeah. Okay, then that'll hit. Okay. That's hitting the the flying fisher? I'm hope. Uh, yep, except for two damage. One to six plus five. Blunt. <laughs> It just the numbers don't add up right there. Damage one d six plus five is nine. Okay, sixty. All right. Uh, see so if you want. I see. Um, I'm gonna use my overheat spell because okay. I want this thing to go away. Um, and it causes lots of damage. So, what does it do? It deals 2d8 fire damage to all creatures of home. Okay. Range 15. You're not going to hurt the fire element. You can target it, so it doesn't. But it's also, I'm shooting fire. I don't think fire. <laughs> You're not going to hurt the fire element. <laughs> hey guys, uh, one clarification. I, I think I had the level 2 version of the creature. The level 1 version uh, does 1d6 plus 3, and it only has a plus 5 to hit. So it would only have an 18 instead of a 21. Oh, maybe it still hits. But it do, does two dust damage, you said, Bob? It does plus three. 1d6 plus three. So if Chris rolled a two, it did five total blunt damage. Tiny creature? Do you have it's a tiny creature. Oh. And he, he does uh, fire damage, too, huh? Uh, a fire element slam. Doesn't say it's fire. <laughs> no, it says it burning. It says burning strikes. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. How much do I need to hit Whatever it? Whatever page 47 of the Alien Archives is. That is My base attack bonus is good. Yeah, Alien Archives isn't the, uh, the mainstream book there. That's where it comes from. I need. Alright, so, so Jeff, you're saying that's different from the core rulebook <laughs> and the armory? <laughs> Does Chris need to not use this? Uh, power? Does he need to find another power? He can use it right now, but after this, we're gonna have a chat about it. Where did it come from? The PC Alien book. Archive, it sounded like. Alien Archive, it looks like. I just picked it out of the I thing on the... I think it's just in the computer generator, the, so the PC generator software. I think that's one of the things that are loaded into it. Yeah, because we, we, we had said core rule books, but we'll come back to it right now. After We're not going to waste time on it. Jules just did how much damage with her? 11. To, with overheat. What, with overheat. Is it flying creature? Is it dead now? Not even close. Can <laughs> I run away? No, actually, you're entangled. Uh, oh, how do I fix that? While entangled, the target can't move. It has a move action. All right, it doesn't say you can't do anything. 
Okay, yeah. Uh, oh, acrobatics check to fire or slashing damage to the huh. You did so, that. Yes, can I run away now? Or you, are, you are no longer entangled your way, but it will get an attack of opportunity if you move and shift one, but it will still be, you'll still be within, within its reach. So there's no point. Oh, you get a little further away. Sure, whatever, I'll move. There? Sorry, I moved you. That was also moving me. Perfect. I don't... I guess I'll go there. Well, you can, you can try to get behind the wall. Of course, it's high. So it's gonna... <coughs> Alright, uh, at least you want the Skyfisher will attack the Elemental. You're welcome. And it actually misses with its... Uh, what's the Elemental's AC, Bob? Uh, KAC is 12, EAC is 11. It has 6 hit points. Alright, so an 18 will hit... Oh, yeah. Dealing 1d4 plus 7. So 8 damage. It's gone. It's dead. All right. Ella, you're up. Does it take any fire damage on that or no? No. Nice try. Does there. anybody need healing right now? Yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> I don't know if uh, Ghost is within range at this point. I don't think Ghost is in range. Where are I think you? Ghost is the one who needs it most. 110 feet. Is that too far out? I think that's too far out. <laughs> I think it's 60. Uh, let me uh, double check. Hey, I can see my house from here. Hey, Captain Nala, hello. 30 feet. Okay, so just <laughs> slightly out of range. Just a little. Just a little. Uh... Elise. Yeah. Or uh, Ozzy. Who needs healing here? Who needs some stamina? I'm down 14. I have zero stamina. I can give one of you two 10 stamina. Sounds like I Elise needs it. Oh, uh, what a gentleman. To stamina then hit points, right? What's that? You're supposed to go from your stamina then into... Yeah, when, once you run out of stamina points, then you start taking away... Yeah, okay, so that's what I thought. So yeah, I'm into hit points. I have no stamina. Alright, well then I'll heal you back 10 stamina points. Okay. And I'll say, who should we focus on, Bob? The, uh... Big fly guy? Or the one that, um... Adam's gonna hit? The one that's hurting your our team is probably the one we should focus on, but uh, we're kind of splitting fire right now. Whoever is more badly no. hurt. Adam, do you think you're going to stay with the dinosaur? And, or It's the only thing I can reach, and it's on me now. I can't get away from it easily. Gotcha. Maybe I should just make a run back to one of the Jeeps. Is that... And just run yeah, away. Just, <laughs> it's not oh, close. I thought no. you were going to offer to bring a Jeep here and run one of... <laughs> no, was I just... Just run back. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and I'll say, uh, focus on the balloon over there. <laughs> I at least use balloon. <laughs> All right. Now I'm at Ozzy. You are up. Uh, Ozzy is going to. He's going to uh, take a deep breath and breathe his uh, dragon gland fire in, in the hopes of trying to burn away all of the um, uh, spores so that he doesn't get infected. The sins okay. of the... Oh. Uh, so it's a d6 and you have to do a reflex save for... Half damage. Uh, 11. Oh, yeah. For half, yeah, for half damage. Oh, half level plus my con modifier. Oh, I think I made it. <laughs> and two, yeah, okay, so you're saving for half damage. Yeah, I think I made it. <laughs> I'll just roll a D3. <laughs> mm. Hey. Three. So I take three damage? Hey. You take three fire damage. Max damage. Going down. And hopefully it, uh, like I said, I, I hope that it burns off all the spores that are on him as well. It, it does burn off most of the spores. Um, we'll see what happens on his turn. 
The two cultists that Ozzy... Uh, are you done, Ozzy? Uh, no, I'm going to take a guarded step back. Oh, nice. There you go. Um, Mike, I'm going to move... I mean, Bob, I'm going to move you around. And I'm going to say that all four of you can fit up here. Is that stairwell uh, only allowing one person at a time? Yes. So they'd have to push past me to uh, to get into the room, right? Well, I would say that, okay, if you want to go back was, at least one will be able to attack you at all time. And the other one could ranged attack. Uh, you, you know the space better than I do. Whatever, whatever works for you. Whatever you think is appropriate. I, I'm trying hard not to be a dick. No, no. I mean... <laughs> yeah, that's a no, no. We just want it to be fair. Even. Not even fair. We just want it to be even. Why start now? I think that <laughs> if they do a acrobatics check, they can get past me uh, to try to fill the room, just like I did against them. I mean, he's little; they could probably just step over him. Yeah, but I, yeah, it would it would take some some agility. I, I would think, think they could probably get into the room for sure. The, the guy who's closest is going to uh, swipe you with his long sword. Uh, seven. 25 versus your uh, KAC. That is a hit. All right. That's going to be... Seven damage. Down to 10 hit points. Um, the scatter gun creates an issue for me. Me Mentally, the scatter gun creates an issue for me. Why? Well, 15 foot range on a cone. It's like a dragon breath. Right, but it, does he, he's going to shoot the guy in front of him. He's a cult of the devourer. Does he, does he care about hurting his friend? I think he cares more about killing you. I agree. I think he would use it. So. Uh, he's no, nah, he's not going to shoot. He'll just wait his turn. He doesn't have a reach weapon? No, he just has a longsword. So, right there. Happy birthday. Thank you. Hey, guys. Can you turn Night my bed on? Sleep well. Good night, Amy. Hey, where'd my One fire? Moment. Okay. All right, Trigger, you are up. Bet. Uh, he went to walk the dog. I think he yes, he left dog. directions to move him. Mm -hmm. uh, I would tell Trigger, Trigger, go by the head uh, and have a healing serum ready. I think I am going to need it. But you're, you're like 50 or 60 feet up. Yep. He's not going to get it to you. Oh, I can get to him very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> well, you going to jump out the window? Yep. <laughs> but that's not getting the sniper. Well, I'm going to... Well, when my turn comes up, I'll tell you what I'll do. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't ask how big the windows are. Trigger! He's a rat. Does it matter? Trigger! For him, no. For a human-sized person. Yeah. Wait. Get right. by the uh, head and have a healing serum ready. I am going to need it in a minute. So move him. Okay. Go ahead and move him. Well, that's Mike's character. I won't move it. M Mike, you want to move your guy? Uh, I mean, yeah. He's out. Are you there, Mikey? He's back. Lost no, no, I'm, I'm back. I'm back. I just got back. Uh, so, Mike, while you're away, I got clobbered. I'm down to five hit points left. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So, are, are are you literally jumping out the window? Uh, Expect yeah, I am. If you could ready an action when you get under the head to hit me with healing serum as soon as I uh, show up, <laughs> that would be appreciated. So, I'm gonna make my I'm gonna make my move so that I'm under the window. Uh, you can move your character. I did. Brilliant. Uh, just don't let me fall on you. Uh, okay, I'll slide there. Perfect. All right, so that's that's fifty feet. That is Mike's entire act. You yeah. can take the, here, the healing serum out to have it ready. Uh, but that's yeah. it. Yeah, that's all I would do. Okay. Ghost drop. Uh, <clears throat> I grab the sniper rifle and jump out the window. Um, 
I'm gonna make you make an a, a oh, post athletics actually, check to grab a sniper rifle. Wait, before I do that, I activate uh, a button on my wrist, uh, and there's a shimmering. Oops, that's wrong. Is it the shinning? And four uh, extra images of ghosts suddenly appear. There now appear to be five ghosts in the room. They are holographic okay. images. Uh, what do you need for the grabbing of the gun? Uh, I still think it's an opposed athletics check. Strength check to fight Russell away. I thought he dropped it on the ground, so he's not touching it now. He did, but as soon as you go for it, he's going to go for it. Okay. On Bob's turn? Like right now? Yeah. On my turn? I'd call it a reaction in that case. Perhaps the acrobatics then? Opposed? Okay. I'm, I'm good with acrobatics. Okay. 19. All right. Where's my... <laughs> Where's my which sheet of my look at here? Uh, acrobatic. Good thing I'm not trained in that. So if he does this, then I assume he uh, no longer has an attack of opportunity because that's his reaction. That would be his reaction for the round. Yep. Completely dumbfounded by the five goats. Her in front of her. She's a shearer and female. Mm. She's a she is not. She does not react as you grab the gun. And now he tries to jump out the window. All right. So I'm going to call you 40 feet up. And what is it? A D6 or D10 for every 10 feet? Good. I think we should get this right, considering how much health he has. Good. Uh, I, I agree. We probably should definitely double check it just to make sure. Because... He does our fighter have falling damage. One D six per ten feet. Well, is it falling or is it a controlled jump? I think it doesn't matter. I, yeah, I, I was uh, just asking. Oh, actually, it says uh, if the character deliberately jumps, the first D six is non-lethal. On a successful DC fifteen acrobatics, the character avoids taking damage from the first ten feet, and converts the damage from the second ten feet into non-lethal. Um, <laughs> Why did they just get so complicated? <laughs> I got a link here. You just search for for falling. Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of like kind of like driving. So let's do the first ten feet acrobatic check. Everyone agree? Yep. Okay. First roll is a seventeen, and the DC was uh, fifteen. So. I avoided taking damage from the first 10 feet fallen. Now we've got three more sets of feet to go. 30 more feet, eh? So the next 10 feet are so non-lethal. 1d6 of non-lethal. Mm -hmm. So I think Josh rolls damage. Hold on. I think you should, I think you should roll your own damage. You're the one who jumped. No, no. Yeah, you're the one who jumped. He's, he's the environment. Go ahead, Josh. All right, so you you're we're, we're we're jumping forty feet. We said so you're gonna go. You avoided the first ten. Yep. So also, getting... what is the ground like? Is this soft ground or mud or some other such yielding surface? No, it's, it's, it's no, it's cobblestone. It's cobblestone. It's cobblestone. <laughs> okay, just checking. Thanks, thanks, Adam. Appreciate that. <laughs> I believe it's soft cobblestone. Though. So this is the this is the D six that he he's taking as non lethal. That's right. So they have to slash roll. Oh, that's anticlimactic. Ah. Oh. Five. So I have five hit points left. However, the brown force field, which I just forgot about until now, uh, reduces damage by one. So I have taken four damage, non lethal. So I have one hit point left. And now it's 2d6. And you have 2d6 damage left. <laughs> oh, oh, I sorry. I thought I had five left. I think I did. I did have five left. I have a typo there. Okay, I have one hit point left. So now, now you have minus four. Minus four. And I have 10 more feet to go. No, that was the last 2d6. Mm, oh, that was 2d6. Oh, that's yes. not so bad. Okay. So your, your fall, you took a total of 10 damage. So I've collapsed to the ground, uh, bleeding. I gotta, see you, I gotta see you went out the backside, though. Oh, okay. I thought I was going you could Because you couldn't have got past them they were here. Oh, and uh, so did the... So there's not a uh, where uh, Trigger was? Uh, gotta be because they're shooting out of. Yeah, I guess you can fall there. 
Although, as he went to jump, that would have meant that the other two would have gotten opportunity attacks on. Just green would have. Orange wouldn't have. So that opportunity of attack... What about blue? You should roll about that. No, blue didn't. Roll, just, roll, we, we, roll, blue tried to grab the... the, the uh, oh, I thought he said he did not try to grab it. Okay. Uh, the 23 was opportunity attack, Bob. Uh, it, I think the mirror image is going to make that miss. Uh, I just got to look up what mirror image spell does for Pathfinder. Oh, that's right. Like every hit knocks off one or something like that. Oh, I, think, I thought it was a random. I had I roll and see if I got the right one. Oh, that's I, right. It could be I think you do. I think you roll and see if you got the right one. Uh, it is uh, 1d4 figments. They remain in your space. They move with you. Uh, whenever you are attacked, the target of the spell requires an attack roll. There's a possibility one will be hit. Um, if the attack misses by five or less, your figment is destroyed. Um, whenever you are attacked or are the target of a spell, there's a possibility you might get one of the targets. If the attack hits, roll randomly to see which of the selected target is a figment. Yep, there it is. So there are four figments plus me, so five total. So, so it's a 1d5. And on a, on a one, I hit you. Correct. Okay. Phew. He strikes, and one of the holographic images disappears. And then he falls to the ground, still with negative four hit points. Yes. Unconscious. Now, now I wonder, can, can your mirror images take that fall damage? <laughs> <laughs> nope. No, any area of attack spell uh, cannot be avoided by the mirror images. Okay. Just, I'm, I'm trying for you, Pop. <laughs> I appreciate it. All right. I think that is definitely the end of my turn, but I've got... All right. You figure out how death works <laughs> while we speckle around. we Will do. This is the longest encounter we're ever going to have. There's way too many things out here. All right. The Ramproda, um, despite being um, free of its mold, it continues to attack Ozzy, who has damaged it. He advances. Go ahead and take your opportunity attack on him. Yeah, I'm going to try to do the same thing and root him in place. So it's KAC minus 8. Ooh, that might hit. So 25. Is his KAC plus 8 equal to or less than 25? His KAC is 19. Okay, so yep. I have absolutely no chance of hitting that. <laughs> you need a natural 20. Now I know. Hey, so yeah. So I took took my uh, took the chances and didn't work out for me. It's okay. I only would have done ten damage. He advances. He tries to make a bite attack at you. Eighteen versus KAC. That's a big miss. Dang! I rolled a natural four. You looked out. <laughs> the, uh, I'm sure I would have been like grasped and bleeding and prone and acid <laughs> damage and nope nope all right the uh the sniper oh bob <laughs> you're gonna hate me <laughs> drops a shot grenade on top of you and ozzy oh nice <laughs> Only Bob would say nice. <laughs> uh, just a note. Just a note. We probably should be aware of the massive damage rule. If uh, if you take damage from a single attack that takes you to zero hit points, check. That's me. And the damage that you take is greater than or equal to your maximum hit points, which is twenty. Uh, for me, then you instantly die. So if your shock grenade does twenty points of damage, I'm dead. I don't think it can do twenty points of damage. Oh, that's comforting. <laughs> the shock grenade, I think, was a D10. Uh, shock grenade is more damage than that, I thought. It's 1D8. Oh, it depends on the level. Shock grenade, 1. 1D8. A shock grenade is D8? That seems, yeah. I don't know, like a regular ass grenade is a D6, isn't it? Uh, yes, it is. Because I, I remember any... grenades being very underwhelming. Yes. Uh, the, the shock grenade is the best shock level one. Just one catch, Josh. Uh, it looks like the shock grenade has a 20 foot range in a 15 foot area of effect. It's like I, one. So you're, you're you're saying does it does it explode right to the ground? Does it explode halfway down? 
I would think that gravity would be faster than a throw. Okay. In this case. Uh, Mikey gets to save for half damage. You are immobile, so you cannot make a reflex roll. I need to save for half? You can save for half. Okay. What's the DC? Uh, DC 10. Uh, I rolled a 12. I uh, said so DC 12, but you still made it. So. Oh, okay. So you, you take three ghosts is minus 11 HP. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, Sivian, you're up. All right. Uh, a little fire guy is going to do a 10. You ready? And he's going to miss. And then I'm going to try to attack with my gun. I'll... You sure you don't want to go try to help go? Nah. <laughs> you got a human thing over there. There are... I don't think I can make it if I ride. All right, so you missed in both cases? Yeah, obviously. All right, I at least you're up. Wait, hold on. Dinosaur's still alive? Oh, yeah. So hiding behind the wall is going to get me away from the giant squid. But it's going to put me next to this dinosaur. You get on the far side of Nala if you want. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and are you going to shoot something or fire something? I shoot the squid thing. The squid thing? The sky fisher? With your azimuth laser pistol. Alright, give me a roll. Would you change the dice already? Those dice are terrible for you tonight. I, I at least he misses. <laughs> The Sky Fisher. My dice are tired and fine. Oh, Adam. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm going to give you partial cover here. Uh, I give the Sky Fisher a minus two, but he's going to whip out with his um, lasso tentacle thing at you. That's some you big first. reach he's got. What was that? So that's some big reach he's got. 50. Woo! <laughs> Roll that's longer than the range on yes, some. That is the big reach. So you're getting a minus two, which means you just get a plus nine. Only a plus nine. Yeah. Only a plus nine. Is that kinetic? It's KAC. KAC is a miss. Good thing you got that armor, man. <laughs> I know. That that armor saved me like three times this combat alone. That's huge. Oh, that's not what Nala, you're up. All right. Uh. Focus fire, guys. Whatever is most damage, just take that out. F- focus fire. We've focused on five different things. Hey, I so, listen to trigger. Whatever tr- trigger tells me to do, that's what I do. All right, so ignoring trigger. trigger and ghost. <laughs> is the giant blue thing or the dinosaur more roughed up? The They're, they're pretty comparable. So, so for the record... Um, you guys did seven damage to the sniper. You did fourteen damage to the dinosaur, and you did thirteen, eighteen damage to the sky fisher. <laughs> does, okay, anybody, <laughs> does anybody need healing? Who has not been healed by me so far? Yeah, Ekra. Yeah, Ekrath. <laughs> <laughs> let's just call him Ekrath for now, and Ozzy does. All right, I will. Uh, I'll say, Ozzy, get up and get that one right there. So you get ten uh, stamina points back, and now Thank we get you. a plus one against the uh, dinosaur. It's okay. All right, now. And if, if any of you want to shoot the dinosaur, you also have a plus one against it. Just saying. Mm. <laughs> An additional plus one. All right. All right, Ozzy, you are up then. All right, well, I will uh, shift back and then do a fight defensively against the uh, the dinosaur. All right. So my guarded step. And whoops. <laughs> I love the sound effect. <laughs> oh, nice roll. 14. Okay. Because it's at a minus four. Oh. Dude, 
Oh wait, fifteen because of uh, the plus one from coming get from the KAC yeah. is eighteen. Oh well, then yeah, I'm not going to make up four, but I have a plus two to um, AC. Uh, All right. Does the size of the creature give a bonus to hit? Is there some sort of penalty against AC for size? I don't know. I've never come across it, but that's not to say it's not there. Can we find that answer in three seconds? Hmm. Keep going. I'll take a look. Actually, it's your turn, Bob. Well, I'm dying. <laughs> it's Trigger's turn, and then your turn. I'm delaying. <laughs> well, you can spend a resolve point to uh, if I can save get that, up. If I can save that resolve point yeah. until Trigger heals me, that would be better. But uh, I think on my turn, I have to use a resolve point. Um, I don't think I have the choice of delaying. So, well, Trigger acts first, so he can give you the Mark II healing serum. If that's what I would prefer. Yeah, oh. no, that that's that's actually the plan, right? So, oh, good. Oh, he's before me. Perfect. Yeah, I'm before you. Sorry, I thought I was in front of you. Nope. So I'm gonna heal you as soon as it's my turn. It is. It your is turn. your turn. Oh, then I heal him. <laughs> can you roll a three d eight for me? Three d eight. That's a lot. Okay, there's a reason we didn't want to use these things on the uh Ooh, the person seven, that bombed shot. Seven, Bob. Seven, six, seven. Fourteen plus six. Twenty points of healing. Yep. Ooh. Uh, and I think it works just like D and D. If you're at negatives, it just gives you twenty plus zero. Sounds familiar to me. So you've just restored all of my hit points. I have no stamina, but I'm back to full health. <clears throat> I told you, Ghost, I'd be there for you. Trigger, am I dead? Are you dead too? No, we're not dead. Neither is I, Alicia, unfortunately. Uh, <laughs> Trigger, you saved my life again. Thank you, my friend. That's that's what I'm here for, Ghost. Ghost, go, y y did you kill? Did you kill the sniper? Uh, well, he's a little dead. Uh, but, but look, I have these gifts for you. Over there, see? A sniper rifle. I know you've always wanted one. It is not your birthday, but... <coughs> uh, there is a sniper rifle there. He cannot use the rifle. Oh, th okay, that's good. Okay. I I've always wanted a sniper rifle. It is yours. Uh, <coughs> what do we do now, Ghost? Uh, trigger? Uh, uh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Who, who, who... Who's up there? Do we need to go up there and kill who's up there? There are three of them, and they are powerful. Maybe we finish what is down here so we can focus. What do you think? I think, um, okay. Let's go. Well, what's down here? Just these little dinosaurs? They, they, they haven't killed these things yet? <laughs> Maybe we should show them how to kill them. I think we have to because they do not know how to do We must. We must go back over there and show them how to kill these things. Where is the big guy? How come he has not killed these things yet? I do not know. Is he playing around? Maybe he is playing a game. I don't so know. So who's next? <laughs> ghost is next. Uh, well, oh, actually, Ghost, it's your turn. You can get up and do something. Trigger, uh, you just used what like a standard action uh, to yeah. apply the healing. You could still do a move. Uh, hit a minor. Uh... You can move, Trigger, but there's, I mean, there's no mind. That's a D&D. &D. I, I can't get... I, only have a, I can only use a single move. Maybe maneuver right. your way so they can't shoot you from underneath. That's what I'm thinking. Like, maybe get over here on this side of the... Like, hug the wall? Get over here? They can't they shoot you. They have scatter guns. They can't reach you. Oh, that's but they could drop another grenade. They could drop it. So get away from there. <laughs> that's what I'm, that's uh, what yeah, I'm saying. So, what is that? So, how come my arrow thing's not working? I, I can move myself, but my arrow thing's not working. What arrow thing? Like the thing for distance, yeah. You gotta click on the circle with the ruler first, and then the arrow thing will work. Right now, you're moving yourself, so you've clicked on the top arrow. Yes, the one under the magnifying glass. Oh, uh, the one, it's under the magnet, okay. Yep. All right, so I can move 30 feet, so I can move to there. There, I used it. All right, go ahead and move yourself there. Nope, now you gotta go click on the arrow and move yourself. That's confusing. No, I'm just kidding. That's fine. I'm good. Nice. Uh, Ghost will use the uh, Yosoki feature of Kip Up, which means Yosokis can stand up for a swift action. So now he's back up on his unsteady feet. And then he moves, uh, I think he can go 40 feet. 
uh, his full movement, so that'll take him about there. And then he uh, fires on the one thing that he can hit right now, which is that creature. The Skyfisher? Yeah, I, I can I, well, actually, maybe, do I have an angle on the uh, other creature? Do I have range? Yeah, he's in range. 80 feet is the last range of... No, you, you, don't have, you don't have it because of the Skyfish. Okay, even with a minus? Correct. Okay, understood. Then in the Skyfisher it is. Uh, yeah, I think he will uh, use the sniper rifle then. What the hell? Uh, is he trained in that? Yeah, he's proficient in sniper rifles. Okay, just making sure. The, only use the attack roll from this. Don't use the damage roll. Uh, attack roll's not great. It is a natural four. He rolled an 11. <laughs> and that's the end of Ghost's turn. All right. Um, the lizard... About a second, I just want to check the, uh, the statuses on the lizard, if he will retreat. Let me check out to try to help you guys a little bit. No, he won't. What about the squid? The squid will retreat under certain conditions. Great, can it be now? <laughs> can the condition control the tired and bad? No. Um, Alright, so the uh, lizard, once again, will advance on um, Adam. And I'm going to take an opportunity attack that is just a normal opportunity attack. I'm running out of room to retreat. Uh, 18 KAC. Nice. Which I believe is a hit now. We that know. is a hit. Well done. That's a good... I got to do that ahead of time. That's my problem. <laughs> so it took an extra 11 damage advancing on me. I took it from the wrong creature. <laughs> Mistake. That All didn't right. kill it. Chance, did it? That did not kill it. <laughs> Although it is, it is wounded pretty hard now. It's not, it's not near death, but it is hurting. It's covered in slashes from my attack lash. Yes, uh, um, it does take its attack against you. It goes for its uh, mighty bite attack. Mighty bite. Oh, I don't want this one to land. Oh, that's not good. Let's see if this plus two to AC was worth it. Same one last time. Oh, it was a miss again. Oh, that's a huge miss. All right. Um, <laughs> 18 is a huge miss. Wow. A yeah, I know, right? To hit. My well, with, with my defense, fight defensively, I have a KAC of 25. That's awesome. Sorry. All right. The, uh, the guy in the tower skips. Uh, Sivian, you're up. Just looking up my character sheet, it's, do I add the base attack plus two to my attack? What is, what is that base attack in the B character sheet? B-A-B? -B? Base attack bonus? It says B-A-S-E -B base. Yeah, you take that, pl whatever that number is, and then plus, plus the D20. Plus your D20, and then plus either dex or, or uh, strength, depending on the type of attack that you're making. Oh, I've only been rolling 20. Yeah, Dexton for uh, for well, I gotta look at my inventory, right? My maybe I learned the rules, maybe it'd be better. Well, you're new to this. We've had more experience. What weapon are you using, Chris? Pistol. Pistol. That's Dex. What's your Dex bonus? Mm -hmm. hey. Uh, three. Okay, so plus five total. So you roll t d twenty plus five when you use your pistol. Oh. No. <laughs> I'm elemental. I'm elemental. Chris, you, you Chris, this what's the, the first D20 and the My last elemental guy, because it's only three rounds. Oh, your elemental got hit and killed in the first round, Chris. Oh, well, there it is. All right. But he did damage before he went down. I got a 20. Okay, okay. I had missed again. All right. Uh, did I Oh, uh, what? You're up again. I'm going to shoot it. You're going to shoot it? You want to use your magic missile? What do you want to do? Uh, balls left to use. 
Oh, do, um, do you have multiple magic missiles? Do you use the one that's in your spell bank or whatever? You have this the spell. You oh, have the one, spell cache. Yeah. I don't know how that works. You have one in the spell cache. I'm just gonna shoot it with my guns. Use your magic missile. It doesn't matter. You have one in the spell cache. That's your last one. That'd be good. Mm-hmm. Works. It is how it works. I read your stuff last time. We'll oh, go through okay. it again tomorrow or another day, but. Okay, let me get other dice. Here, 3d4. I got them right here for you. Roll Do I get three? Oh, because I'm yes. not moving. Yes. Elisi, here's my advice. Kill each. Oh, thanks, Gus. Yeah, sure thing. Which one are you targeting? Um, the dinosaur. You have a plus two on that one. Although, you don't need that for magic missile, do you? Infinity plus two. Three. But you can't roll one, I thought, on those. Because your spell hack. Six. Six. Okay, which were you targeting? The dinosaur. The dinosaur. All right. Came back my die here. You chose the wrong one. Yep. All right. Uh, Elise has gone the... uh, The Skyfisher blasts out a telegraphic message. Why are you attacking me? Wait, which one is this? The big giant one. The one the that... Squid? The squid. It, 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 you, you, those of you who are telepathic, Nala, Ailisi, and Sivian um, can feel the creature in pain and not not uh, not pleased with the situation. Like It feels like it's defending itself. For- yeah, just like we are. And now it is your turn if you want to try to... Nala? Jeff? Jeff, man, we need you. No, <laughs> <laughs> Were there supposed to be words? Jeff, are you there? Yeah. Well, oh, so how close are we to the uh, uh, dinosaur? Okay, you missed what I said. <laughs> the skyfisher, the big squid thing, put out a telepathic message. To, uh, that you, Ilesi, and Sivian to, to receive, t- asking why you are hurting it and attacking. It. You can feel that it feels like it's defending itself. Why did we not feel this before? Because now, now it's hurt more. You have to respond because you're it's your turn. I will uh, say get him after the dinosaur. Do you want to and, talk to the skyfisher? And I'll talk to the skyfisher. Is the sky what kind of creature is the skyfisher? Is it a dinosaur esque or is it a gelatinous cube esque? What is it? It's an aberration. It is a um it's like a floating spider, really. Um, can I communicate to the rest of the group that the skyfisher is not attacking. Um, well, let, let, let now have her her quick communication, and then see what happens. I think that I, uh, I I try to uh, send waves of empathy towards it, saying like, kind of like we're just defending ourselves. You are the one who attacked Elise first. Elise, do you have anything to add? Is Sivian? Yeah, that was not cool. <laughs> <laughs> Is that your response? Sorry. Yes. We're sorry. We didn't mean to hurt you. It seems to us. No, we didn't mean to hurt did, did not. What's up with that? <laughs> he, he looks like he may be willing to retreat. Your, your, your feeling is if you guys meet at a, at a, at a, a, a simple <laughs> level. Are you gonna push the the? No, I'm, I'm good. I'm gonna leave it at that. You're gonna leave it at that. All right. Um, Nala or Sivian, give me a diplomacy check. Whoever, both of you can. I'm angry. Not gonna do it. Uh, I got a minus one diplomacy. 
<laughs> a 20 is a 20. You never know. <laughs> not in skill checks. 20 is a 20. 20 is not an automatic hit in a skill check. That's 23. Great. 23. Never mind. Now it commutes a little further with the sky fish. And they agree to end hostilities and the heist if the sky fisher retreats which it does and go shoot uh, the sky, sky fish no just kidding sky fisher, you want to help us with uh the dinosaur or the are, are there any guys left over in the statue oh there's oh, plenty yeah. of guys left over in the statue the All three of them. there are three tasty morsels in this in the statue right now so as the uh, sky fisher leaves um Nala, Ilisi, and Sivian recognize or can feel that it's it, it's been hurt very badly, Aww. and physically was not going to last much longer. So it's actually mostly it's feelings. Hey, it's everybody! I'm I'm take a shot at it now. We can get a lot of experience. <laughs> <laughs> it's retreated. Chris hasn't hit anything yet. Maybe be sure for not critical damage, not not lethal damage. <laughs> oh, that's a lethal burn right there. So long, sucker. We've been playing since seven. I haven't done anything yet. Hmm. The time is coming. I've rolled All right. one. Uh, Ozzy, you're up. Ozzy's going to uh, fight defensively. Again, actually, no, he's not going to fight defensively. He's just going to do a normal attack. Try and end this. End it. Did not, Ozzy. Where's not with that. He's not going to do it. Oh, oh. Gosh. I'm wow. going to Benny that, though. Yeah, good idea. Yeah, you haven't used any of them yet tonight. That'll hit. 22 damage. That's a natural 20. Are there any crit effects on your uh, attack lash? Nope. Just just doubles nice. damage. 22 is awesome. The attack lash whips around its neck and with a, 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 a yank, Ozzy snaps the neck of the creature, killing it. Oh. Oh. I'll take one of its and then put it on a necklace. <laughs> cool. What happened to the surfer dude? We're turning him to a bloodthirsty killing machine. It's called having a positive effect on people. Mm, yes. <laughs> <laughs> he is a sir. Listen, do you think I'm rolling poorly because it's a like part of the character? He doesn't want to hit anything. Mm, <laughs> All right. That's masterful. He's, <laughs> he, he, he's just trying to put on a good show. Yes, I, I built the program. We only give one. <laughs> All right, the, the, the sky fisher is in, in. The lizard is dead. The three cultists are still within the, um, in the statue. It is eleven fifteen. Jeff is asleep. In I'm Trolls awake. is close. <laughs> we got a napalm. It got a napalm in there. Um, I'm guessing it would probably, it's probably going to take you twenty. Statue. I'm I'm okay with picking this up next week at this point. Unless you guys really want to grind out the statue. I think coming back next week is a good way to go. Maybe I'll better luck. <laughs> It'll give Chris time to learn the game. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Uh, revenge for Ghost is a dish best served cold. That gives him a week to plan how he's going to destroy these guys. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, I hope that encounter didn't drag badly for yeah. I apologize. No, no, it took good. so much time, guys. Uh, really sorry about that. I didn't know. I thought there was one person in there, and I didn't know it was going to drag. I'm oh, sorry about that. I, I did think the vehicle good. chase went pretty well. Yeah. I, don't, I, oh, I was going to say, Bob, I do appreciate you role playing your character. I was expecting you to jump on a grenade to save Andrea. <laughs> <laughs> but I would definitely be dead if Trigger were not right there. I would totally be dead. That was very, very lucky. Maybe Josh was pulling some punches. I don't know, but that was ridiculously lucky. Wow. The, the only punch I pulled, I will tell you, is um, the squid retreating a little early. He does he does have rules for retreating. when He, he was about 10 points away from that point. I was fine with pulling that a little early. Um, otherwise, that was the only punch I pulled. And yeah, we, maybe Trigger and I could have contributed ten points to that squid. Yeah, you guys, you guys would have killed it anyway. So it was just. Maybe. But but if you hadn't done that, then they would have just been taking pot shots at us with the sniper rifle the whole time. So every other round, though, but I think that sniper rifle is one d ten plus whatever extra damage. Was it worth it? I don't know. It still took out one of us. 
Honestly, I think you you're, you got your damage far outweigh the the you running over there. Yeah. You guys would be able to kill the creatures that are close to you a lot sooner. But listen, I do what Trigger tells me. That is that's what kept me alive, and that's what I do. I just follow Trigger. <laughs> And then he gets me into trouble, but then he keeps me alive, so it'll all work out. <laughs> so, all right, gentlemen, and Jules. All right, excellent. Brother Noomsi. Yes, sir. Happy birthday. Thank you. Happy birthday, Josh. Thank you, guys. That's it. All right. Happy birthday. Great job. Thank you. Talk to you tomorrow, Adam. Good job, guys. Thanks, everybody. Bye, all. See you tomorrow, boss. All right. Happy birthday. Good night, Jules. Thank Happy you. birthday again, boss. <laughs> I don't know what you're up.